Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to Fire Squadrons. We have semi-finals here. Let's take company going against the shark in the second game of those, this uh, best of three series. The sharks did manage to make some stake last time and did get that awesome victory. The science victory. I do want to double check if my mic is on. Yeah, there we go. It looks like we, I also have the anniversary of the partner program wow okay that that's new to me i didn't have this last year <laughs> okay woohoo we actually got one more year guys let's go and sasu bonsoir and sylvia venu chesi also good evening sir and welcome stars thank you bona sera domnule și bine ai venit hey nu te-am mai văzut de mult bine te-ai reîntors uh, i do see also uh, papas on youtube hello there sir and welcome alex 2005 good evening good evening sir i want to put up on the screen here so uh, we don't miss a thing but i don't want to uh, there we go we can put it up on the screen and we can uh, keep on talking over here to uh, the people that did join us on chat uh, hello there cloud and welcome sir good evening good evening um dbz hello there sir and welcome bring a do hello uh, hello there sir and welcome welcome Adidos, good evening sir how are you doing sir uh, i did also notice we do have oh my case good evening and thank you so much by the way for the um, congratulations thank you sir Frankie four fingers good evening sir and uh, welcome i did notice nitro 0225 for the road first in the channel over there thank you so much sir and big shout out hello there good evening now i uh, do want to uh, also say bonsoir <laughs> monsieur and sasso and you know eh? uh, uh, I do want to uh, quickly come back over here to uh, what's going on in um, the pick and ban phase. We did have rich highlights as the map being chosen for today. So uh, prepare yourself. It's going to be quite a big uh, day over here. I got my coffee ready to go. And uh, hopefully we're going to see what's going on. Let's actually take a look. Theodora on the left side from Last Day Company has been taken down. We do have also Genghis Khan being taken out. While on the right side, it looks like Ethiopia is not going to be allowed. Nor is Kree going to be allowed in the game. Well, we do have um, another six bands for them to go for and it looks like they're gonna take out another major seamer here a uh, goal but i gotta say they didn't take out gandhi <laughs> or chandra gupta well i would definitely say gandhi on this map more than chandra gupta not to mention i would say also zulu has quite a bit of potential on this map um we might actually see kumer walking in we might actually see uh, sejong which is a civilization that we definitely didn't see in a long time uh, quite um, quite uh, curious that we haven't seen Sejong in a long time. But I guess uh, with all of the meta changing towards free inquiry oh, in the second era, that is uh, weird. Uh, doing wonderful. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well, sir. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I did manage to get uh, quite a bit of sleep uh, before, uh, from uh, this weekend. And uh, now we're ready to go. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, Chandra Gupta has been taken down. Also, Cleopatra is not going to be a part of this game. Not going to be allowed. Okay, Gandhi over here. Both Indian personas being taken down by d Shack. While well, Aztec Company on the left side is going to need to put down their uh, final ban here of um, <clears throat> the first ban phase. Then they're going to also need to wait for their opponents and then pick set the tone for the game what are they gonna do here what in this uh, rich highlands are they gonna reveal their hand are they gonna go for a victory condition maybe a culture victory force their opponents to uh, uh, take that out or take that into consideration i would say can they just first pick him they could they could yeah but they i don't think they want to i don't think they uh, honestly i think more like it's more likely like vietnam is gonna be picked over goal um, because uh man man is gonna play on the last day company actually talking about players here we do have uh, let's see i actually need to uh, swap with sambro uh, i don't actually see them uh, properly i think we're going to need to watch here so a man with captain morgan kilad and sambro showing up today for the stake company on the other side we got uh, six of the sharks in the same lobby uh, by the looks of it in the same comms apology you him, uh, floppy flongy josie oh six people and petit pascal not sure exactly which of those uh, did get into the game because i do see some of them do still have the steel names uh, from the weekend from the ccc and i guess you know yeah, i guess it's gonna be a discovery phase <clears throat> We do have uh, Australia being taken out and um, uh, Coupe being taken out. Looks like they're not going to reveal their hand. They will pick a civilization that does uh, well in most cases. Rome over here, Trajan has uh, been well known for uh, doing very well on most maps, even on the naval maps. Let's see if uh, D-Shark on the right side is going to um, do something a little bit more, um, how do you say, specific in their choices over here. Are they going to go for direct like big simmers? Going to go for the gold makers? Going to go for uh, maybe a little bit? Uh, something you know with uh, more damage uh, we'll see we we need to wait for them to make their uh, pick over here it looks like the last time it did work well to actually go for a science victory um 
on that side so we're going to see if uh, this is going to be their choice uh, again we did have uh, Josie over there oh doing God's work man in uh, on the map looks like Tokugawa is going to appear first pick and Montezuma second pick both of these are very good very good um I, I gotta say Montezuma over here I guess we're going to need to see his uh, continent split or if he's going to have any but he's appearing in so many games and that the players um, feel like they have a special relationship over over here with uh, Montezuma. Monty, the big one. Well, uh, Tokugawa has been uh, left on the side. Uh, oh, we do have Seijong being picked. Oh my god. Look at that, man. We actually do have Seijong being picked. Um, do they really need to pick Vietnam? Feels like only man plays it. Yes, that that's true. The first pick. I mean, if you're going to pick Vietnam anyway, like if you want to pick it and you know, don't want to um, reveal your hand, you might as well pick it from the beginning. Good and talk. Then you think good enough. How are you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. I like good Zoom partner. Oh, oh, I see. That's the congratulations in um in German, right? Uh, okay. Uh, wait. How do I say it? Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Eh? That's that's right, thank you, Sean. Anyway, uh, we do have Seijong, of course, uh, being picked on last take company. Not really the gold generator, but uh, he's definitely going to have a lot of stats. And we do need to see how he's going to be uh, played here on the map. What kind of land is he going to have? Opponents, not opponents, friendly. Friendlies, friendlies, uh, frenemies. Yeah, well, after a year, I'm starting to work again. How can I be? I, I, I mean, I would say happy. I mean, you know, it's good to have work, or at least, you know, in my opinion, if you definitely like your work, I think it's good to have work. Night Demon, Night Demon uh, 549, hello there, sir, and welcome. 50 50, man. Oh, I see. You, you're, uh, how do you say that? Uh, you have a complicated relationship, right? <laughs> You have a complicated relationship with work, I see. This is like on Facebook, you know, you, you write that status over there. What do you mean it's complicated? Is it, it's, or is it not? <laughs> What's complicated about it? Anyway, we do have um, uh, D-Shark uh, needing uh, to uh, ban their last uh, choice here. And it looks like uh, Canada and Lincoln have been taken out from their side. While uh, Last Take Company is going to take out uh, Russia, they're also going to take out Saladin. Wait, is this Saladin or is this uh, Vizier? I'm not sure uh, which one is. This is Vizier. They are, they're going to take out Vizier. Not uh, Okay, Saladin Vizier. Uh, which one was the other one? Was the other one called? I, don't, I barely see him in any games. Where is the other one? <laughs> Where is the Saladin? The other Saladin. Mm, my God. There's, oh, oh, now he's next to him. Never mind. Sultan. Okay, it's Sultan and uh, Vizier. Uh, check this out. I went all the way on the other reasons to actually come back to this one. Kek W. Uh, Vizier. Yeah, did anyone else apply uh, themselves uh, with a total eclipse of today? I didn't actually watch it. No. Uh, I, I slept so much. <laughs> Woo hoo hoo. Uh, Casimir Miller, hello there, sir, and welcome. Right next to the band one. Yes, exactly. Is that big of a deal to reveal your hand when pick, uh, picking strong sips to be more important than counter picking when you don't even know who? will be next to who and that is true alex 2005 but a lot of the times you need to take into account the big sips uh, even uh, if you do have um, the chance to have opponents next to you um so uh, that should be there there are a lot of civilizations still to be picked that's a I think that every time we go through one of these draft phases, the teams actually need to count the importance of uh, how how important it is. Like, uh, just try to judge how important it is to reveal their hand or not reveal their hand. And <clears throat> some of them do do it immediately, thinking exactly exactly what you're saying. That it is much better to pick uh, immediately pick uh, strong civilizations that you would go for. But that would also give a little bit of an extra insight to your opponent, and they can try to counter. So uh, it depends if you're so confident that whatever happens you're gonna get the win with those civilizations or you're not as confident in that um, uh, draft pick and you're gonna need to um, you know, wait a little bit judge your options um, uh, see what your opponent is gonna pick and we do have um, Nader Shah on uh, D Shark it looks like he's gonna be picked here that's gonna be the, um, the third one and uh, also on the other side looks like Spain and Scythia are gonna make their way in this is Rich Highlands and this is Scythia usually Scythia used at the beginning of the game to as you've seen yesterday to uh, take out opponents now in this game on the rich highlands i doubt that he's actually gonna have the adjacency or i should say the proximity to another um, neighbor so he can actually do something while on the right side it looks like um 
And the shark is gonna need to pick up uh, the land civilization. I think they're more than fine on gold. They're more, more than fine on um, also simming. And I'm actually quite curious what are they gonna go for over here with uh, Nadersha commercial opener, Montezuma commercial opener, Tokugawa. I guess that's uh, actually quite a question what Tokugawa is gonna go. Yesterday he opened up commercial, so and we're gonna need to see if he's gonna go for something. Okay, they're gonna increase their abilities late game to actually stomp the map basically. D shark over here is gonna pick. Uh, um, Zulu and Zulu is well known for its uh, late game stomping at the map uh, with those uh, armies that uh, do have extra damage and of course they do come earlier which is amazing uh simon yeah it looks like they they kind of picked the save for, like simon a little bit stronger than simon i should say oh my god they don't have bsm oh i just realized there's no bsm uh, i think we're going to, need to uh yeah uh relobby uh was there any oh kick the host uh jumped on me i guess we're gonna need to wait for uh, another uh, lobby up in just a few seconds over here so they put the uh, bsm on and so uh, we can join and actually uh, see the game uh the late game powerhouse Scythia always overlooked on also a good gold maker yes that's that's true I, i'm not overlooking it i'm not overlooking it i'm just thinking uh, as you've seen uh, for example in the iron man uh Scythia late game did still have a problem it wasn't like that extra thing over there it wasn't really giving him the edge he would have needed against um his opponent that was basically on the same technology right with uh, gds yes granted he did have more gds <laughs> but not the uh, insanely more gds like what two more gds than him and he kept that advantage for quite some time like basically they uh, started trading trading let me see do we have a channel somewhere with uh, the information here no Oh, I can actually uh, turn off the screen and bam, 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 bam. Uh, let me see if I can find any. Oh, okay. I found somebody that has the lobby up. Okay. Oh, okay. I think we're in the correct lobby. Oh my God. I got uh, right on time to actually uh, step on this noise. Is it uh, BSM on? Yes, we do have BSM on one, two, six. Okay, it's fine. So uh, we're gonna have Satan over here going for Sajon. <laughs> Apology looks like uh, well, I guess they're gonna need to join and uh, pick up the civilizations. Captain Morgan does want to go for uh, Thomas. That's from uh, La Stake Company, right? So we still need the stakers to get in and uh, some of the sharks also. Apology, uh, Sambro. Okay, Captain Morgan. I guess they're half and half right now. Is important to start and building GDRs like five times sooner. Yeah, and uh, look at that. That extra five uh, damage over there that uh, he does have. It wasn't the game breaker. It didn't make up for those extra five turns, I guess. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Uh, what I do believe is Scythia is extremely powerful at tanks. Tank armies, especially like uh, that timing. If you do manage to get tank armies, uh, fascism is, uh, I think, one of the most powerful. Um, if I would have to compare it with another stronger one, uh, I guess Genghis Khan's um, late game power spike is also atrocious. If you do manage to get like a level two spy over there, oh my god, nothing's gonna stop your tanks. Like plus 12 on your uh, units is just insane. Uh, but as you see, the um, players don't actually get to that point with uh, Genghis Khan. They uh, either uh, manage to take out their opponents earlier or they don't have the power to get to uh, the late game with Genghis Khan. And uh, very few players actually take the risk of picking Genghis Khan for that later on uh, timing, thinking it is much more important and much faster to pick up a civilization that has uh, bonuses towards Simming so he can get there to fascism and to the late game much faster than others. Okay, sure, with less bonuses, but he's much faster than uh, others or a similar Genghis Khan would be, and they can take advantage from that. Uh, horse is uh, good of tanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Um, yeah. I mean, you, you didn't know. They just put a little bit of metal over horses and uh, they're still running around the map everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me put my screens in order so I can. Uh, hello there, Warek. Good evening, sir, and welcome. There we go. Uh, putting my screens in order so I can actually uh, read the chats properly. 
There we go. Rich Highlands. Okay. So on the Rich Highlands, we're going to need to expect uh, quite a few more resources than usually. So we do need to uh, take a look how the land is going to give them the, those amenities. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need to take a look at their um, available continents to settle. Uh, we do have most of the players joining back. And it looks like we're just missing like two of them, which are, uh, I think, disconnecting and reconnecting to fix their zero MS rather than anything else. Uh, so are helicopter horses with wings? Yes, exactly, Urek. That's that's it. Exactly. They evolved wings, basically. Metal wings. Uh, people is asking them if they could uh, actually do their names here. Like, write their names because we don't know who is who. Okay, it looks like uh, Distoria. Wait, Distoria should uh, cast, right? If I remember correctly. Isn't he casting? I don't know who's casting, to be honest. But I think he was. Anyway, it is what it is. Hello there, uh, Adres. Uh, good evening, uh, Kulub. Hello there, Terzen. Welcome, welcome. We're still waiting for the game to start. I guess I can put up uh, the prediction for the how many remaps, right? We can actually do that in the meantime. And uh, let me actually uh, click on buttons over here so I get to the correct menu and start the prediction for how many remaps? 0, 1, 2, uh, submission period 10 minutes because we do have quite a bit of time. And I can do the same thing here with, uh, well, I guess not the, really the same thing because you do actually get some points on Twitch. On YouTube, it doesn't, it basically gives you a pat on the back or, you know, it is what it is. But it is important that I do uh, uh, get to see your opinion and uh, definitely I want to see what's going on over here. If there is also a description between uh, the polls on uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube. Gives me a subject to talk about. Let's see. Okay. Putting back the setup. I don't... Uh, still too missing. Still too missing. If uh, I know the host, I can actually uh, open his profile. Yes, yes, there we go. I was uh, joining from another player profile. Wait, this time is I'm going to join on the quick host. Yay. Yeah, they're asking to open the slot. Seems like the last uh, guy cannot get in uh, easily. Okay, there we go. They open the slot and let's see him uh, getting in. It's Highlands, see me in three, eight, four hours. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we never know. We never know. To be honest, uh, reading through the reports over there in uh, each of the divisions, we have seen, we have seen actually quite a few early wins on the Highlands and the Rich Highlands, which was uh, quite surprising. Something catastrophic might have happened. It kind of looked like coarser timings, uh, more like uh, Mapuche timing or something, uh, something around there. Uh, stand 45, 50, 55. Um, or, uh, I mean, they, probably the war started then, but they did... Um, uh, they did end up um, CCing at around 30, 70, 65, 70. There's also always a lag right from the beginning of the um, aggression to uh, the actual concede. Okay, I think we got uh, everybody in. We can actually talk about what's going on here. We got uh, Mam on Rome. Looks like people is going to play Nader Shah. Apology still needs to pick something. Kilad is going to go for Sejong. We got Eliopsim still needs to... Oh, they're still... Uh, wait, wait, wait. They're still needing to actually swap their slots uh, in the correct position, right? They don't... Uh, okay, Shark, 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 Shark. Okay, we got the Sharks here. And okay, now they're in the correct position. Apology is going to go for Montezuma. We got Kilad here on Sejong. A flop is going to need to pick something. Sambro on Philip the second captain morgan on uh, tomeris and then we do need to see also the last two civilizations here iliopsim and uh, floppy we got our answer also who's going to play on which team right uh, we got man with uh, kilad with sambro and captain morgan from uh yeah, uh, last day company. While on the other side we got Ulopsim, Floppy Flon G, and we do have uh, Apology and People playing today for the Sharks. And uh, Floppy is asking probably Malm and Theodore uh, to rename. Yeah, there we go. So wait, Theodore is probably uh, Disto. He's probably Disto, right? Okay. 
I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, two remaps for sure. You think they're gonna be two remaps? I don't know if they're gonna be two remaps. It's Rich Highlands. Why would you remap so much? I mean, I'm, I guess they're gonna take a look at your uh, uh, position, but I would imagine they're probably the gonna of life beneath water. not remap. The great I mean, that's my vote. Stone it's not remap. Can I vote on my own? No, I can't. It, guys, it, look at Twitch, man. I can't vote into this. I can't get myself more points voting into the prediction. Man, what is this? Anyway, I voted one him up, uh, but I hope zero just give uh, everyone a god start. Exactly, right? Give everybody a god start. Uh, man, playing on uh, what? What is it? Um, there's a, a legendary legendary starts, huh? Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's take it. This is the moment. Left or right? Left or right? We got the map revealed to us. We can actually uh, take a look at the civilizations. We can take a look at their bonuses. Everything, everything. And I want to know, left or right? We start off with uh, Zulu or we start off with uh, Rome? Which is it gonna be? Which is it gonna be? Come on, first one to write in the chat wins. So let's let's get it going. Left or right? Left or right? It's a very simple question. Left. All right, and look at that. Everybody's trying to watch over here. Okay, where are they positioned on the map? What are they doing? Are we starting from left to right, to, uh, from top to bottom? What are we doing? Come on, come on, come on, chat, save me. Do we go uh, left? Left, thank you, D. Beasley. Okay, left it is. We got uh, Shaka to talk about. Looks like uh, Wulundi is gonna come out with a scouting three, and uh, we do have uh, to the north uh, quite a bit of uh, fresh water for him to benefit from. That's also gonna be into Spain's uh, territory. By the looks of it, uh, Spain is uh, gonna need to do something about Zulu at some point. We do have him also with uh, more than decent amount of space to the south. Uh, two cities that could be fresh water, and I do see he's gonna need to settle some non fresh water cities uh, to the west of his capital well i'm pretty sure he's gonna prioritize getting some coastals uh, over that uh, non-freshwater city but i don't think it's that big of a problem for uh, zulu if i remember correctly his ikandas do give him uh, housing right uh, let's actually take a look ikanda gives you one housing so you already want to get the ikanda anyway and the buildings in the ikanda will uh, give you the gold and uh, that one so i'm pretty sure he's gonna be quite happy just putting down uh, whatever cities uh, where he does have very good resources so he can benefit earlier from them Plus five campus in the south. We do see uh, he's gonna have to the east side uh, Persia. That's people. That's uh, his ally. And they could set up a coastal trade routes over here through uh, the ocean. Well, I guess uh, we're going to need to see if that's gonna happen because he needs to get the city quite far away from his capital. But it's fine. It's in range of two cities. It, I'm pretty sure that can that is possible. We do have uh, to, to take a look at Tokugawa in the middle bottom of the map here. Looks like a Floppy Flongi is going to get his scout out in three turns as well. Uh, growing in three also. He's probably working the bananas for the extra food. Put him uh, faster to get to the second population. While he does have quite a bit of uh, sea to go for into uh, Yatsushiro Sea. Okay. Well, we do have him with uh, one, two, maybe three cities that he could place over here. A fourth one to the south. And that's about it. He's going to need to go outside. Oh, that might be. Uh, well, it is what it is, man. Uh, he needs to be careful stepping into the sun right now. Floppy Flon G, we're going to need to see how he's going to open. Looking at his text, he is going to go for the sailing. That uh, would probably mean he's also going to go for Celestial Navigation and open up with uh, harbors. I'm pretty sure he's not that happy getting sailing. Uh, seven turns into sailing if he's not going to benefit from uh, a tempo from it. Uh, looking at the, uh, his neighborhood here, he has uh, to the northeast Korea. And I do see he had this... Um, also uh, expanding his vision towards him while to the north he's gonna have an ally Tenochtitlan uh, Aztec and I'm pretty sure uh, they're gonna try to make a wall of units over here against uh, Seijong maybe at some point even go against Seijong uh, we do have also that we go in the north Montezuma unfortunately he doesn't have a lot of fresh water he could settle these cities over here let's see one two three four five six seven to settle that's very very late and one two three three four five six to settle on the sugar time that's um, that is much better and taking a look at his continent split he's gonna have another uh, continent there to the north and another amenity settle on the mercury and that's gonna be one two three four five to settle that uh, those uh, kind of looks like uh, they should be the fir uh, his first cities right and then get a non freshwater city here on the gypsum probably and then go to the south over here for the fifth and the sixth cities well we do have him um, 
and needing to put cities in the north so he can benefit from uh, those uh, these extra resources the tea tiles and i do notice he's gonna have some salt over there sprinkled around this desert uh, while he also has silk not bad but again non freshwater cities if he actually wants to benefit from these i'm pretty sure he's not gonna be that happy about this well we do have also to talk about nader shah nader with uh, mashad he's gonna get his second scout out and i do notice he's gonna have a nice settle to the southeast on that uh, rice style one on the cattle this is amazing by the way uh, with uh, the three two bananas and other two twos around him uh, does have a three one base underneath with the uh, with the cattle there mm -mm -mm. i mean you don't need more than moo and banana right you need just that it's fine moo and banana and uh, maybe that's also a sign to come over here persia might be making some steak tonight <laughs> and we do have uh, to take a look also at his neighborhood to the northwest he's gonna have captain morgan and it looks like they're gonna fight each other at some point i'm pretty sure uh it's gonna be a well-matched um, fight because of course first of all uh, neither shan does have a plus five against um, full strength units while cthia will have a plus five against wounded units i mean what better match we're gonna need to see um, what people is gonna do over here against the uh, and of course we're gonna also take a look at how captain morgan is gonna approach this you know we do ha not have a lot of territory here for prokofka to uh, get out and um expand his cities uh looking at the uh, Scythia here next he does have a settler coming up in five tens and i do see him uh, exploring the east side he probably did figure out on the west there's really nothing to go towards uh and uh, he did meet Vo um, the city state of vol into the north easy settle on the west i'm actually curious if he's gonna go coastal here probably gonna be where uh, no 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 i don't think he's gonna be wary he has philip the second here and i'm certain right now with philip the second's presence on this northern seas in the indian ocean Ocean that he is actually going to put a city in coastal so he could trade with um, uh, Philip the second and as you can see over here they're on different continents this is going to be amazing for Philip the second now we do have um uh pokovka also benefiting from quite a few two twos doesn't need to actually spend that much gold but i think he did spend 25 gold uh to get uh, at least one of these two twos i'm pretty sure he actually spent 25 gold here but anyway it is what it is krakatoa to the northeast he doesn't he doesn't he does have two opponents to the south that's zulu and um neither Shah looking at uh, spain we do have philip ii on the edge of the map we do have him with a settler in two tents and um, i do see a reef fish tile for him to improve probably going sailing first or um, i guess towards uh, sailing into astrology he does have um, a settler coming up in two tents and um, okay east cities on the coast here one to the south to get some extra gold from the truffles one to the west side uh, probably on the copper tile and i do see his uh, seas are going to allow him to actually uh, settle quite a few cities in the north part as well as in the west part probably not gonna be that happy on uh, settling the east but i'm pretty sure at least a settle there it's gonna happen so he can trade uh, from across continents um and i'm saying not that happy because i don't really see this coast amazing he has some good inland cities like you settle a city here and maybe another one city uh, another one here and you can actually put a harbor uh, outside so you can use it but outside of that it doesn't look like it's gonna be uh, oh my god that amount of land he has some inland cities sure over here in the south and looking at his opponents with zulu in the southeast and he's uh, gonna have to take care of we don't really have anybody on the west side that he's gonna be bothered by uh, looking at uh, Sejong, a uh, uh, civilization that I don't think we've seen in the last two months. We got Kilad here getting a builder, and uh, it looks like I think that's a free builder. It looks like he has Cocos in the capital. Two of these, two to three tiles, giving him uh, six gold, a ten extra over his um, anybody else in the game. I guess he's on twelve gold, while everybody else is on six um yorkshire hello goldbrit hello there sir ms doll hello hello there sir portula bell fortuna belly hello there sir and welcome what's the map it is rich highlands uh, hello there sir uh, and uh, thank you so much by the way for the um, congratulations thank you thank you we made it boys we made it look at that happy partner anniversary uh currently spain knows zulu is around he's probably not happy yeah he's probably not happy well uh, i do see first of all this um, builder will need to uh, get the technology to actually improve some tiles here we are 10 10 and i do want to uh, take a quick peek on rome's territory okay rome is uh, actually free sim yeah we got a free sim rome here next to an ally next to Sejong and to the east side he has Zulu well I guess Zulu is not that free sim but uh, I mean uh, he's not gonna have that much free sim with Zulu next to him uh, but I'm pretty sure that if there's gonna be an attack or a conflict here it's gonna be uh, quite uh, later 
We do have uh, Rome. It is not bad land, but it's not amazing either. Uh, uh, uh. You can make that work. You can make that work. <laughs> I do see he has uh, some random desert tiles here in the capital, but no flat tile to put that pyramid. That's a bit unfortunate. It is what it is, and I don't see any other uh, desert tile. Okay, let's see if they're going to remap this or not. I, I honestly except uh, Zulu versus Spain, which uh, it's going to happen anyway. I don't really see a reason. There we go. No remap. This is it. This is it. Uh, good morning. Oh, I see. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, from Australia. Woohoo. Uh, Paicho, good evening, sir. And uh, have a good one. Indeed, indeed. Um, Ale good zoom partner. Uh, is that how you say it? Hadman, also hello there, sir. It is what it is. Uh, yep, yep. As they say, good day, sir. Hello there, sir. City uh, has some amazing kurgans. Uh, yeah. The uh, busy one. Wait a second. Did you hide all this? Did you actually hide all this? Let me actually see. Choose outcome zero. Ah, ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what um, also. Uh, YouTube did say over here uh, a lot of the youtubers were voting on the one and I do see uh, some option in the option two. okay I guess you've seen so many remaps you are a little bit uh, how to say um, you're missing confidence that you're actually gonna see uh, you're not gonna see a remap I got it I got it it's fine it's fine now we're gonna build that confidence we'll see we'll see um let's actually take a look once uh, again another time from uh, each civilization we're going to need to take a look at their strategic resources and with um, the early moves uh, happening we do have zulu moving towards the north with a settler and i do notice he's uh, probably going to put it on the rice style that's uh, also going to be right in the face of spain we do have him Eliopsim here uh, still needing to get another settler he's uh, going to build it in six times and i do notice he's uh, probably okay okay i would have thought he's actually Actually gonna have a uh, faster setter but i think it's fine after the population will grow here you know we do have uh, him also scouting the northeast he has access to an iron tile in the southeast in the second ring horses a third ring out in the in the southeast not really uh, that easy to get but he could get the city to the south uh, next to those mountains anyway and i'm pretty sure he's gonna get one there because well he doesn't want the freshwater cities around him while uh, in the north he has a warrior escorting that uh, settler, there are some scouts from Spain that are coming closer and closer to that uh, river he's going to want to settle. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, he is going to want to set up a coastal trade to the northeast also with Persia. And this is going to cause a problem because they will be on the same sea. Scythia and Spain are going to try to um, get their economy going. So unless um, Persia is going to... Oh my god. Unless Persia is actually going to get here in this uh, bay in the... Cozy Bay, Cozy Bay, Cozy Bay, and that's not going to happen. Woo, woo, we got Captain Morgan next to People's Settler, and it looks like we might see some tears. No, we were not. It looks like Captain Morgan was a little bit too uh, slow on the buttons, and Persia did manage to settle that city proper. We do have uh, some new scouts coming up from Persia as well to try to help out with uh, the defense against this uh, Scythian invasion. <clears throat> Well, it looks like uh, this uh, Zulu warrior will also need to move back because this settler is coming and that scout, well, that scout is going to try to stop him. It uh, looks like Floppy Flongi with uh, Tokugawa will also need to get his uh, settler out. There is a Korean unit next to him that's going to be his opponent. He doesn't see him yet. There is no visibility through the rainforest next to him towards the northwest. While he does have a scout in front, he does not know about the warrior sneaking in the forest, uh, getting all of that cocoa on him. So he smells right. Um, let's actually see if the settler is going to take the bait. To actually go for the Coco. I don't think so. I think he's going to move forward. I think he's going to go for the 2-2. Two, two, and it looks like it is a little bit too late for Kila to actually get that Settler. It's fine. It should be fine. There's a scout next to him. It should be fine. But oh my god. Yeah. It's so many units are coming cl close to each other. Uh, Tokyo. We do have him uh, benefiting from an iron in the third ring. Also horses in the third ring. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to settle a city to the south there. So he can uh, benefit from those resources. But I do see him prioritizing going towards the north. Going towards the northern uh, rivers. That's a long way to go. The so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to settle. Oh, that's a long way to go. A very long way to go. 
We got some uh, fights started off over here. Looks like uh, Japan is uh, not going to be comfortable with uh, the Korean cities or the scouts running around uh, mind mindlessly over here and next to his territory. So he is going to start attacking with uh, his cats, Korean cats. So he's going to try to get them out of there. And we do need to also take a look at, uh, wait, Montezuma, right? Montezuma, Atsakapotzalco, Tenochtitlan, two cities. He did settle the mercury tile, did not settle the sugar. We do have him getting an extra science point, plus three, plus three cats campus in the capital with the possibility to get uh, bigger ones if he does manage to put a government plaza there uh, let me see i just vote for the team with japan i see i see well, i mean we do have i think you're the biggest fan of tokugao i think next to sandro games you're probably the biggest fan of tokugao <laughs> uh yeah japan is forward settling korea yeah he is and heavily forward settling korea over here i'm not sure if he realized this but i think so i think he did i think he did yeah he did knew well before he actually set up the city of uh, shizuoka yeah, we do uh, need to also come back here to uh, Aztec. He's going to have his iron cheap next to his capital while his horses are going to be three rings out. Has quite a few tiles here of horses that he could improve, but they're all very expensive from his uh, set uh, settled cities or even the cities that he could settle. I wouldn't imagine he's going to go anywhere else other than this uh, sugar tile for the next city. He doesn't have uh, that much visibility over the river in the south and it's going to be a question mark if he actually gets the resources or the tiles he wants while this city he kind of knows he has the information about uh, what's here and uh, what he could benefit from uh, of course plus three campuses would be quite pog over here uh, i wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna start off with campuses but no he it looks like he's actually gonna go for commercials now, looking at Nader Shah, we do have him, uh, okay, escaping the Scythian uh, invasion. And it looks like uh, right now he still has his two cities. He's going to go for the third to the rise. Or no, no, no. He's actually going to go for the third on this rise to the northeast. Or, uh, yeah, around here somewhere. Now, we do have uh, Vilnius also getting uh, bullied over here by Aztec Eagle Warrior with uh, other units and the uh, Persian unit. I'm actually curious if uh, they're going to try to give it to probably Persia, right? People actually need to take this. Yeah. Uh, it's much much closer to his cities and he definitely would benefit from uh, an extra city not the amazing city but he can definitely work the deer the truffle and uh, get quite a few chops out of it well that city is being put under siege the scout doesn't have a promotion so i don't think he's actually going to sacrifice his attacking into the city center to refuel it from under siege and there is another unit the fourth unit coming through um, the southeast that's a japanese warrior that's gonna get there to finish the job we do have uh, also um, Nader Shah here benefiting from an iron tile in the third ring. That's quite expensive. He does have a horse in the second one. And uh, by the looks of it, he's going for his extra culture. He did manage to uh, watch the Scythian scout getting uh, burned over here next to the mountains. And I, I'm actually quite uh, curious. Is, is he going to finish the job? I think he's going to finish the job, right? He, he's actually going to take out that scout next turn. Yeah, he doesn't have movement right now. We do have uh, to take a look at Scythia also next to uh, Nader Shah to the northwest, Foro settling towards the southeast, uh, he, so he could benefit from some bananas there, not to mention uh, the soon to be explosions from Kilauea. Now, we do have also builders coming from Pokroka and Pazirik. And um, uh, uh, talking about forest fires here. <laughs> Man, they got burned. <laughs> I think both of them got burned, man. Uh, remember Lahore yesterday? Hero City State? Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, wait, there's a... Oh, right now. I mean, we don't have sun right here. I have no idea how to watch the eclipse. A good barbecue. Yeah, a good barbecue over here next to the mountains. <laughs> uh, Ziltek, good evening, sir, and welcome, welcome. Uh, what is this? South... Uh, well, it is what it is. It's raining fire <laughs> yeah oh wait it's uh, raining for you but it's basically night i see i see um i, I did want to um, say something about the forest fires it looks like uh, they figured out that uh, it's not that good to actually put out the forest fires you kind of need to let them burn and there's an ongoing discussion of uh, which fires they should let burn and which fires they should not let burn and funny thing is check this out if you actually um uh, they found out in um 
that if you actually stop the forest fires well before they actually burn out and uh, they do their cycle you actually create more more fuel for the upcoming fires that will happen next year the, the, the years after that and so on so it's not a surprise that you actually you know try to fix the one fire and then the next fire is going to be bigger than, and you're going to try to fix that and so on and so forth because the cycle the nature cycle actually needs to uh, happen over there they also figured out that you know some trees actually plant their seeds because of the fire <laughs> you know it, it is what it is anyway uh, uh, you say 95 percent when i am in texas i see i see i see okay uh, so let's see pokrovka is gonna get his horses he did put down uh, he did open up with campuses here and i do notice he's gonna have a plus zero with a plus zero plus zero campuses here okay interesting that he didn't actually choose to go towards commercials but i tend to agree that this uh, should be a bit of a faster uh, discount here for him to get a lot of districts quicker well we do have him uh, finishing these up quite uh, soon and i do see he's uh, starting to improve his other horse here to the west side he has quite a few good kurgans uh, to go for the this one the, this one oh my yeah, yeah yeah this one over here like there are so many of them that are being hit oh my god this one over here also three cattle tiles this is going to be amazing for him. This one, this one. So many Kurgans, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least eight Kurgans. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve Kurgans that I can see that are at least hit with two or more of these pastures. This is going to be amazing for him. So much gold will actually be generated because of those uh, Kurgans, not to mention the faith, which will help him uh, get his armies out. Uh, yeah, we are for a good game indeed. <laughs> so many Americans here watching the Europeans. Uh, what? European SA fighting? What was that? Was that? Have you heard of uh, casual geographic? No. What is uh, casual geographic? Natural forest fires are in the problem. It said fires that happen outside of the cycle of fires that happen over non-natural trees, bamboo plantations, for example. Interesting point over there. I had friends go there to see it rip. Um, okay, let's see. What do we have here? Next up, we do need to take a look at Sambro with um, Spain. Looks like he's getting his trade routes. <coughs> I'm sorry. We do have uh, Magnus coming up in Madrid, and I do see Toledo also is going to get uh, one of those um, uh, culture makers, uh, the monument. We do have uh, him did uh, indeed actually settle the cities on the east and on the west. A bit surprising here that he didn't settle right next to that um, uh, truffle tile, but I guess it is what it is. We do have him on uh, another continent anyway, on that the city of Bilbao, so it's fine. Um, pretty sure we're going to see him improve some uh, fish tiles, at least another fish tile, so he gets his uh, Celestial Navigation boost. There is another fish tile here in Toledo, and that city could definitely work a little bit uh, better food tiles. Now, we, I would say, actually, with uh, this amount of um, resources in the Mediterranean Sea, it does make sense to actually go for the God of the Sea. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 10, actually, this one is not going to, yeah, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, if you settle the cities in the north, that definitely is enough uh, bonuses, uh, so you can uh, justify picking up uh, the Pantheon. Um, yeah, they rented the house, oh, I see, I see. Uh, how they won't see and how they won't see anything wait who would you consider to be the best if uh, six player right now and thanks for tips on uh, culture victory by way, with much pleasure uh consider the best player in Civ six right now that's a very hard question to ask that's a very hard uh, i should say uh, question to answer i mean um there are uh, best player <laughs> that's a very hard question to ask because there are very like quite a few very good ones and uh, the skill between them um i would say it's not that like the skill difference between them is not that uh, big and uh, at the same time um i would say the situation changing on them is um um i would say making that difference in skill not uh, something else um best safe player Oh my god. Like I'm I'm bouncing between uh 
No, this, uh, I, I can't answer that question. I honestly can't answer that question. There are quite a few good ones. I can give you, like I can start to do name calling over here and probably spend another five minutes to give you a lot of very good players. Most of the players that are getting into the CWC, for example, are very, very good. And there, there are like, what, a hundred something players in the CWC. The first um, six teams are extremely good. Uh, whoever gets first moves in <laughs> not even i i don't think uh, well we got some uh, answers here in chat i do see cool whip is saying sandro which definitely he's a very good player uh, leech is also uh, being called out here by the Beasley. i would say the story i would add barsaki i would add hasagi for example i would add, like there are so many good ones there are td t tube like so many good ones you can't like right right here in this game we got apology we got people we got um you know, killian we got man uh, floppy and uh, i don't i I don't I didn't see that much of value of um in the games Captain Morgan is a very, is a good one uh Sambro we've seen him multiple times I mean uh, just in this game we have very good players I uh, is some dude the 979 Michael yes sir yes sir I'm here present okay uh let's take a look spain is um with an item tile next to his cattle that's going to be cheap for him to improve he already got his horses to the northwest and plugging in magnets for those internals getting his uh, fourth and fifth setter out soon he's going to need to uh, push back zulu here which already is pulling cities towards him and i'm pretty sure he's um he's aware that uh, he's going to need to do some defensive uh, measures over here has some have some defensive measures against his opponent well i wouldn't say this is easy land to push through but he does need to get his defense in order before any kind of push from uh, Spain uh, from uh, Zulu will happen and uh, definitely there are a few cities that he could uh, get in order so he could actually build a line of defense here and uh, use the rivers use the mountains for uh, the defensive structures the extra defensive structures you know we do have uh, also Kilad with uh, seven science and five culture he did to start to put down his sevens and uh, by the looks of it got quite a few archers out because next to him we got Japan and he got quite a few scouts running around his territory he definitely wanted to protect his uh, sevens from getting pillaged i do see also korea went for goddess of festivals which is amazing he's gonna get the science extra from his sons anyway and the culture extra from so many of these plantations we got him with a one two three four five six uh seven at least plantations eight plantations that i can see not to mention um more in the south that he could get you know we do have him also with these uh, three slingers uh, that they turn into archers which i'm pretty sure he's going to want to follow up with a stronger unit he's going for horse by riding in eight turns while he's going to get military tradition in three i don't think it's necessary anymore to get more archers but i guess we're going to need to see i would say uh, probably going for builders uh, getting quite a few builders so he could chop uh, horses would be the correct way to go so he could get there against japan much faster than japan can actually get his uh, stuff done japan going for bronze working here yes he's gonna have um, probably the opportunity to go for a general if he survives the initial attack of korea and that's probably uh, that's uh, gonna be the problem here floppy flow g is uh, taking a risk it's a calculated risk that korea is gonna have other stuff to do instead of going for horses but i do have to say these uh, seons are gonna give korea and we have seen him before uh, are gonna give korea a big amount of science quickly and he's gonna manage to catch up um, uh, catch back up into the um, war technologies uh, into horseback riding uh, after he did go for the uh, campuses uh, that guy michael is pretty good because he's basically a walking civpedia <laughs> they, oh my, okay uh wait uh noob noob also yeah that's for fish i mean i guess we do need to see more of them ben ben also a very good player i mean guys i'm telling you if i if i need to spell out uh, if i need to say who are the best players i'm probably gonna need to spend five minutes to call them out there are there are quite a few very very good players very good players like i it's it's amazing to see actually how well um the community has evolved in the last uh, two years uh, moving from maybe maybe like to 20 very good players and expanding to 50 60 or even uh, over 50 60 uh, good players very good players challenging each other in uh, so many competitions challenging and learning from each other uh, making groups making clans gathering in uh, different teams moving from one team to the other and so on and so forth 
Um, uh, touche! Uh, yeah, should uh, do a ranking uh, stream for CWC like your wiki uh, score show? I was thinking uh, the score show, because uh, that's why I wanted to uh, start it up a little bit earlier than the CWC, but I think uh, we should actually expand on that um, template a little bit uh, so we can uh, get uh, stuff going there. <laughs> oh, you are VIP over there? <laughs> I see. Oh, it is what it is. Um, we do have Korea with um, uh, the horse stand improved, and it looks like he's gonna get his uh, builders out from his cities. Another wave, another Seon also getting built in Chanchon. Uh, a bit surprising that he doesn't have a 2 2 here. He probably switched the ship down so he can actually work a good tile, and he definitely wants to uh, keep the gold by the looks of it. He's on 13 gold, not really lacking, especially since he did manage to improve his uh, plantations, getting him uh, those extra gold points over there from the cocos and the bananas themselves. Well, uh, I do also notice we do have uh, Kilad here 10 science and 7 uh, seven culture versus Floppy's 8 and 9 while he is only 110 away from horseback riding. Look how much this mattered. Look how much this uh, Seon mattered. It pushed him from like 6 tens. Uh, well, he did get the boost also, right? He didn't have a uh, he didn't have a passion. He got a boost and he's going to get the horseback riding so much faster than Floppy on the other side. Yeah, this is uh, this is very surprising by the way this is very surprising and i do have to say um maybe it is the reason uh, maybe um sorry maybe the reason that uh, japan is not uh, really um taking korea as seriously is because korea hasn't been in the games for that um, long period of time like what two months or something like that three months we haven't seen Sejong but I do have to point out we've seen Hazagi trade punches with uh, very very strong nations next to him uh, other Japans or Zulus or something and he did manage to beat them back with uh, Korea this is this is a very strong nation and it's not something you want to take lightly Senju has joined the round table uh, Senju Burk, uh, thank you so much for uh, the follow, sir, and welcome. This I couldn't have him for long uh, either. They don't have Japan. Yeah, they, yeah, Japan is in trouble. Yes, big trouble. I also want to say we're three followers away, by the way, from uh, 7,200. Three followers away. So if you want to check that number, let's get to 7,200. Let's go. Uh, 720. Woohoo! Seven, uh, wait, 7,200. 7,200. Okay, there we go. Now we got the uh, horses coming up in uh, Seoul, and I do notice he's uh, still waiting with the builder to to get there uh, he is uh, there is a scout here from apology trying to get in there while i do notice uh, korea is more uh, into the um protecting his cocotars than anything else and uh, yes he's gonna want to get that uh, uh, uh someone also protected did they just buy him a horse i think they bought him a horse yeah they did i think they did there's zero gold over here they did just buy him a horse this is amazing and I gotta say, the spearmen are not gonna cut it with uh, the archers next to them. Uh, uh, like the, his opponent archers. We got a few slingers on the way here from uh, Floppy Flongy trying to get in there. And I do want to say Floppy is six turns out from his own horseback riding with one turn away uh, one, from a military tradition. You do see how faster the Korean time was against him. And this is with the boost. He already has the boost, by the way. Yeah, so I guess we're going to need to see if uh, Floppy is going to if uh, is going to manage to uh, defend this. And at the moment, I just see him uh, losing one unit there next to Shizuoka, while his other archers are waiting to get out of the forest so they can uh, make some trouble here. Yeah, let's move away and take a look at Malmo, and we're going to come back next time to see how Korea is uh, going to get this attack going. Malmo is to the southeast of Korea. He's going to get his expands very quickly. Already he's on five, four cities and getting his other set to the west side here. I do notice he's going to get builders uh, from uh, quite a few cities and going immediately for his markets so he can get the extra trade routes with Magnus bonuses. Well, he's already getting a lot of culture from his monuments and uh, we do need to see... Um, uh, what kind of governor type is gonna get here? We do have him getting his government plots at next turn, uh, and I do see he's also getting scouted by Zulu around his territory. Well, just a little bit. Elipsin is uh, putting his nose in there and uh, wants to see if he can actually snatch a trader or two. We do uh, need to see also his pantheon, city patreon goddess, 40% uh, to production towards the first district in a city. And while I do notice he's making a decent amount of horses, uh, he will need to fund the horses over here. Uh, to his uh, opponent, uh, to his ally here, Kilad. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know why I said opponent, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm actually curious if Korea is going to move his archer line. There we go. He's going to move the archer line in front so he can actually double tap that archer, but it's uh, triple tap that archer and take it down. This is going to be quite uh, important over here. It looks like he did uh, trade that and he couldn't get that archer. Well, there is a horse coming in and I'm pretty sure uh, it's not going to be um, all alone. Uh, we do have another horse from Sangju uh, next turn, but this, by the way, this scout over here is it is so annoying for Korea. He cannot move on the 2-2 two -two to chop the horse and he had to wait for the horse to hard build. Well, uh, we still have four turns for Floppy to get his horses out uh, with two horses getting out next turn from Seoul. I would say uh, that there is, wait, how much time do you need? From Seoul, you need one, two, three, four, five turns to attack uh, Shizuoka, while from Sanju, you need one, two, three, four to attack Shizuoka. So four or five turns to attack Shizuoka is uh, not actually a good number. We're going to need to see if uh, Korea is going to manage to punch through this. I would imagine with um, the Spearman coming out next turn, it is going to be a bit of a problem here for Kilaid's uh, horse to actually get in there and do the damage without the general. Uh, we do have a triple in camel opener, by the way, from Japan. He is going to go for this war. He's going to embrace it all here against Korea. Well, I mean, he did for us at, uh, right in the face of Korea. It, it is kind of something he uh, chose. Uh, well, let's actually take a look at the Pantheons uh, coming up from all of the civs. We got the religious uh, settlements from uh, Aztec, from Apology. He is going to get uh, also his commercials down and i do see uh, he's putting down an encampment uh he did also get the city of vilnius it was not Persia that is benefiting right now from uh, the city of vilnius okay horse horse coming in here he's sitting on the worst style possible and that won't give him enough uh, experience to actually get going uh, the city being on the um, yeah, how to say, uh, the city being on uh, the hill doesn't give uh, the visibility to this archer to actually take out uh, Floppy's archer and it looks like uh, Floppy is bringing a builder, two charge builder to chop something there he is gonna wanna chop, wait, did he move away from horseback riding so he can go for masonry to chop a wall out, I guess, you know, it is what it is, uh, this horse though this horse, I think his only job right now would be to actually uh, attack into the city center and that's about it, cause he can't do anything else, it's just dead over there it's unfortunate but he did get hit by uh, three archers while he was in the worst position possible on the march style that actually gives him lower defense than anything else um if japan can hold out long enough for aztec uh yeah i guess i'm not that confident right now kilaya is gonna get this As, uh, i'm really not that confident kilaya is gonna manage to uh, do the damage here and take a city at least a city it looks like floppy is managing to uh, put up a defense with very few units in the correct position so he doesn't let uh, korea take out his units nor does he let korea get too close to the city of shizuoka to take it down with uh, strong enough units i guess we're going to need to see when the third horse is going to come out here and i don't think they're going to have money for another buy here and that's very very expensive even though they're making a decent amount of uh, gold i wouldn't really say they're making enough gold to just keep on uh, throwing that gold away um okay so uh, let's see yeah there we go korea just will gonna he will need to actually move back the horse inside of his uh, borders and heal it in one of the city centers now while uh, i do notice <laughs> this uh, finally he did take care of the scout he's still gonna need a few times to get more units out anyway that's a problem now let's see what's going on here with uh god of the sea four of spain he's getting that extra production on all of these tiles uh, improve resources in the water fertility rights for zulu he's gonna get the extra food on these wheat tiles which i guess is going to be extremely valuable especially on these cities in the south he has a 4-1 base on nongoma also because of fertility rights and getting a fourth settler out soon he already put down his ikandas all three cities are fresh water while um, of course he's starting to roll those general points he's already on five great general points a turn didn't actually acquire one but he is not that far away from getting one uh city are making general points japan making general points korea is not and i don't see him putting down an encampment oh no i do see him putting down an encampment in sangju mm, he's gonna need to actually get um 
the builder to chop the general if he actually wants to have a chance against the floppy. Uh, Koreas moves aren't on uh, point. Uh, Sergey, hello, there's and welcome. Yeah, yeah, I do believe uh, there could have been a little bit better min maxing over there on the moves. Yes, I definitely agree. Uh, Idol Japan makes me sad. Yeah, hard to defend us on Korea side of the lake. Yes, yes, Japan is getting on the first moves. They won't be able to rush Shizuoka down. Yeah. Well, I do see uh, Korea is moving in last second here against uh, Floppy, and uh, we do have another one of these Spearmen coming in uh, with uh, one of the Spearmen taken out. Uh, Kilaya is going to need to move back with that horse. Oh no, he's going to lose another horse, isn't he? Like this, this Spearman should actually get out, make you know, get out of that city and actually take out the horse. And look at that, they, he can actually chop another uh, Spearman over here and um, stop the Korean attack. We do have um, other horses coming in, and I do see another two have been chopped so is going to get another one and uh, we'll get the project soon sangju did manage to get uh, two pro uh, two original points at 10 and i do see he actually chopped something did he chop wait did he chop a horse that went to the east instead of going to the west is that what happened this horse actually didn't come out from seoul did come out from sangju interesting anyway i guess he did have uh, other problems in mind that one scout it is what it is anyway uh we are 10 33 so we can actually talk about the um golden ages zulu drums of war definitely we know what that means we got him uh, with a uh, trunk track to the north deployed getting his uh, horses out in two turns he's all gonna get also that fourth city um ooh, fourth city and the fifth city soon uh getting his encampment training projects looks like he's uh, plugging in pingala in the southern city and he's probably gonna be looking to try to deny a general and i would imagine he's gonna want to deny it from uh killer ad even or um or or who or Scythia, right? Kilad or Scythia, these are his uh, two uh, targets. I don't think his um, Spain, his neighbor here, is actually going to make points. Yeah, it doesn't look like we got um, uh, really quickly an encampment down from Spain. He's definitely not going to get the fourth one. Now, okay, let's see what's happening here. Both horses are very low HP, one dead, one going back to Sangju. It looks like uh, the Spearman line with the Archer line has worked. Only one single spear loss for Floppy. Unbelievable, by the way, the tactical moves uh, did matter so much over here on Floppy, not allowing Korea to get in and uh, do whatever he wants with the city of Shizuoka. Uh, we do need to take a look here on Tokugawa. He did choose the Drums of War of his own, and uh, by the looks of it, he's going for his, uh, first of all, project, in Cameron training project, and uh, improving his iron soon uh, we do have him with uh, some barracks in the north uh, and another encampment in the northeast he's gonna need uh, quite a bit more time to get his stats up he's only on nine signs with 24 culture and i would imagine pingala is gonna be his choice for the second city and we do have uh, also Monty with uh, 13 science and 20 culture. He's on uh, four, five cities already with Vilius very close by to uh, his ally here, Persia. We do have um Wait, uh, Tirits guy, best uh, Civ player. Yeah, yeah, Tirits is very, very good. Very good, very good. Uh, Korea will be in big trouble soon. Yes, sir. I wouldn't go so far. Japan only has one city building units. Killer's moves are kind of... Uh, if he gets walls and the encampment in that city, soon enough, Korea is at a full stop. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Korea is... Uh, well, I guess uh, it depends on how you consider trouble. It, at the moment, Kilaid is still going to be up in stats. We're going to need to see if that's uh, going to change. Yeah, uh, Montezuma here. Uh, okay, oh, keep going for uh, commercials. He's actually getting commercial hub investments from uh, one city and camera training projects from the other. While he is fighting for Zankian as the first uh, great merchant, let's actually see if Rome is gonna get one. He's gonna get the commercial hub investment next time. Let's see who's gonna get it. Oh, looks like both of them have uh, points. Is Rome first or yeah, Rome is first, so Rome is gonna get it. Looks like Zankian here is going to be an extra trader for Rome, not for his um, opponent. Uh, we do have uh, also to take a look at Nader Shah with a pen Bashan voice uh, Golden Age on uh, Nader. We do have him uh, on three series, getting his fourth, fifth and sixth out. I do notice he did choose God of War and Plunder for the Pantheon, getting uh, extra merchant points at the moment. He's on uh, 6.9 per 10, while uh, well, Rome just finished the project. And we do need to see who's going to pick up the next ones, uh, while I, uh, the next... Um, 
merchants while i do notice coleus which is very important for aztec did get picked up over here for an extra copy of a luxury resource and i'm pretty sure he's gonna want to get one that he doesn't have on those uh, two continents he's on uh, we do have uh, also cithia here with a pen brush and voice goldenish getting horses wall of strong he's getting ready to pounce here against somebody we got a campus out from pazirik where he's also getting a pingala where is this uh well that's a one jesus he can man this is so bad I mean, and now it's better with the Gavron Plaza in between, but uh, earlier on it was so bad. Anyway, he does have uh, 11 science with 22 culture, and uh, he definitely needs more cities over here. If um, while he's gonna get one on Krakatoa, he's also benefit uh, gonna benefit from science and culture. Look at that, the Krakatoa tiles are actually giving him more science than his uh, campuses. Kek W, bro. If he gets walls and he can in that, uh, yes, yes, yes. Korea could try a push on uh, Japan's capital, yeah. It's a long way though, and I guess we're going to need to see if he's going to actually make it there or not. I would imagine with this uh, attack fizzling down, he's going to wait for his uh, units or maybe do something at the coarser timing or, um, slash uh, Hawacha timing. Anyway, we're, we're going to see. We're definitely going to see. Uh, Philip II, uh, 9 science with 16 culture, Pembrush and Voice Golden Age. He is putting some defensive units and uh, structures. I do see an encampment right at the doorstep of uh, Cordoba. I do have to point out this encampment cannot be hit from the other side of this rainforest. If you want to actually attack this encampment, you need to be on these two tiles and these two tiles only. Uh, while I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more units here deployed from Cordoba to defend this. So it is in a perfect position to actually hold the choke of Zulu. We're going to need to see if Zulu is actually going to choose to attack while he's getting horses he still is uh, far off from an, a big army to have against his opponent uh, we did have uh, that uh, god of the sea activated here in uh, on quite a few resources and i do see lighthouses getting built so he gets those extra trade routes only on one trader at the moment i'm pretty sure he's gonna get some more and he's gonna want some more iron working next turn there we go he did just buy a trader here in toledo it's very 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 valuable by the way trader for um for spain just like it is for Cree. We got uh, Sejong to talk about. Currency coming up next time. 21 science and 27 culture. He's getting another wave of builders with new archers from Sangju. Putting in Victor inside of that city. And did manage to recruit a general. Uh, so did Japan. Japan doesn't really have units to use for the generals. And I'm amazed that Kilaid is letting that encampment live. Uh, that encampment should be taken down. That's a two-shot hit and it takes out a spearman. The spearman does not apply the anti-camp damage against the horse. So the encampment is a very juicy time. Target. I'm actually amazed that we don't have a double tap here. He would, he really would need to sacrifice a horse to take down that uh, encampment. Wait, is it just me thinking this? Is it just me? Well, it's too late now. It's too late now. The encampment has been built. Walls are up. It's too late. He could have double tapped it last turn, uh, like last turn, uh, last move, and then uh, first move this turn, but he didn't. It is what it is. Is Spain in the same continent of, as uh, Tomiris? Spain's. Uh, no, no, they're different continents. Spain is uh, going to have Madrid, Toledo, Cordoba on another continent than um, Scythia. And I'm pretty sure the trade routes are probably going to go through Bilbao uh, to actually get to Madrid. So I'm actually a bit confused why he put uh, Moksha in here instead of the Toledo but anyway it is what it is I guess uh, we might actually see him uh, switching them up a little bit later in the game maybe he didn't he did have uh, other priorities at the moment he's sending his horses to Aztec now he's sending his horses north yes yes I uh, I do notice and he's not gonna be far off from actually getting to uh, apology one two three horses his general, what is his, oh, he's, he sent his general back in Seoul, okay, he's gonna move it to the north, uh, he definitely needs more cities, like at least uh, two cities, uh, north, east, wherever, but he needs, uh, he needs to, at least two more cities, uh, while in the meantime, I'm pretty sure Japan is uh, gonna get going, um, wait, Tokugawa has the samurai also, right? He does this, has this, uh, his Japan, right? Has the samurai as a unique unit. Yeah, so he has the samurai also. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we're going to need to see if uh, the samurai attack will be the choice of floppy. That is a very strong attack. And if you do uh, manage to get it, it should be able to punch through uh, Korean defenses well before he can actually get um, 
his watches and probably that's the reason that japan wants to do this so he doesn't end up um, dying to hawachas well we do have apology also getting a relic there it looks like uh, he's gonna get a little bit of help while montezuma is uh, getting his ancestral hall to spam as many cities as possible uh, we do have moksha establishing in the city of vatsaka potsalko and he's kind of oblivious to what's going on here we got uh, quite a few horses four horses with a general from kilad going towards aztec and it looks like apology right now does not have a scout on the east side on uh, Kilad's side we do have him uh, realizing how the land looks like here this is the first time he's going but he does know about the Aztec city here he doesn't know about the Aztec uh, health of the city on those oh he knows this he knows Vilnius and he knows there's no classical unit or even a spearman available for Aztec to defend himself the strength of the city is too low um, <laughs> yeah, Korea could try a push on Japan's capital. That's an easier time. Yeah, bit fair. Thought maybe a touch closer than flat. Yes, uh, he's Spain in the same continent. Yes, I did read that. He's sending his horses. Yes, yes, yes. So much gold for them. Let's see who, who, who. Uh, actually, yeah, there is quite a bit of gold on Last Day Company. Not as much on D Shark, but they, they are holding on. We don't need to see what Elio Psim is doing here. It's actually going against Spain and uh, taking out one of his warriors. Well, I do see Sambro is going to finish his encampment next turn. We do have Zulu looking and seeing, uh, checking out what's going on on the other side. Well, it looks like the warrior did go into the encampment, and uh, like you've seen uh, the last time, on uh, Japan, the encampment is two shot uh, with horses uh, with a general going against that. And there is at least a swordsman moving in, and we do need to see if these horses are actually going to attack uh, or not that encampment. Looks like not. Oh, they're going for the city directly. Okay. Going for the city directly. It is what it is. Uh, this uh, horse does have a promotion soon. It only needs uh, two more points. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get it. While well, we do have another horse on the way. Uh, we do have uh, also Eliopsim putting down his fourth city to the west side. And getting his wall of throne up in five. You know, we did have uh, also to talk about Mam. We didn't get to talk about Mam. Mam going for uh, Colosseum from Arpinum. Looks like uh, if he actually wants to chop that. He's going to need to put Magnus in there. But no. He wants Rome to have Magnus. And all of those other cities benefit from the extra production and the food from the traders what i do notice uh, moksha is uh, over here in the south in aretium and we do have uh, malam just chopping <clears throat> as many tiles and as quickly as possible uh, to generate the gold for himself and for his allies he is on 33 gold 88 production actually definitely the most productive nation in the game by far at this moment in time not uh, as far as you know like how to say this is kind of usual i wanted to say for rome he is a very very he has a very very good tempo with the moksha establishing he's going to get a lot more science i would imagine also pingala is going to get in one of his uh, cities and he did manage to put down the one of these uh, plus three campuses next to Aquilea, which is going to get the splendid bonus out of next time. I'm actually a bit curious. What is he going to do for like aqueducts or uh, baths? What is he going to set up his bath? Uh, I would imagine he's going to have a few options, but not that many with these resources here. Like this, this Citro style is actually stopping him from getting a very good uh, setup. But I guess we're going to need to wait and see how he's uh, going to try to get everything going there. Now we do uh, need to take a look what's going on here with the horses of Korea actually uh, about to meet some horses from Aztec. Looks like uh, Apology might have gotten the message that uh, Japan is not getting pushed and we, he doesn't see any more horses on the borders of Korea. Those horses need to be somewhere and they're not in the city of Sangju. We do um, need to see how effective these units will be against his opponent and definitely we need to see what uh, Zulu is going to do here in the city of Cordoba with his uh, horses not as strong... Uh, getting in the borders of Cordoba we do have him with the opportunity to take down that encampment and I think he definitely should take down the encampment more than he should take down the city center uh, because well okay let's let's uh, look at this uh, look at it like this if he moves the horse here he's probably gonna uh, get taken down by the swordsman so he's gonna lose a horse if he goes onto that tile and he cannot put the city of Cordoba under siege he could attack it with two units but uh, one, at least one will die and he's gonna only remain with another two that would have the possibility 
two turns later or one turn later uh, to attack into the city of Cordoba without putting it in siege. The city will heal. He won't be able to get it lower than 70% health um, in that uh, city center with the army he has right now. While the um, uh, encampment is a sure kill right now, it will also deny the ability of Spain to actually uh, get enough points to recruit a general, which already is a problem because uh, so many have been chosen already and he doesn't have enough points. He, it's, you still, you also do manage to get uh, the position on the archer and follow up attack on that other unit uh, in the turn thereafter. I would say uh, this should be his only strategy. I, I mean, he, oh no. Okay, uh, guys, I, I guess we can actually see this unfold. Hello, Draconin. Hello, there, sir. Uh, Korean should back up as soon as he sees uh, Aztec has uh, more than one horse. He can't lose those horses in Aztec territory. Yes, but I think uh, what he's going to do is actually try to push Aztec as uh, much as possible and um, make him uncomfortable over here so he gets uh, more armies, more uh, more units. I do see a horse probably has been taken down. Another one did go into the forest, but I don't see another one here. And I'm pretty sure there were two of them. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. And now this swordsman is more than enough to uh, stop this. And I, I guess we'll see. It is what it is. Uh, we're going to see if Zulu is going to manage uh, to switch targets. He could definitely take out the archer. Next turn, this warrior in the north um, will get a promotion pro at some point. Um, not sure if it's going to be faster than the swordsman coming out. Depends. If the swordsman coming out, that's uh, that's a dead warrior. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, it's a little bit of a chaotic attack here, I gotta say. Anyway, uh, bo, 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 bo. let's see, uh, Trajan, Trajan, he's getting, yeah, he's getting Arena, he's getting his uh, Colosseum, I wanted to see this, we do need to see what Nader Shah is going to do, looks like uh, the third war has started, Scythia is going against Persia, Persia is putting out a line of defense of horses and uh, still uh, trying to get uh, his uh, merchants, by the looks of it, he did manage to get uh, Marcus Rizinius Crassus, while Rome got uh, Zankian earlier, nothing else uh, did change over here, nobody um, important got picked, like Hypatia, or like uh, Marco Polo or other ones, no, people, get back, oh my god, is he setting up a trap, this is bad, this is actually quite bad, because he could actually get hit on the horse uh, three times, um, this is not good, this is not good. That line over there was perfect, but I think he's worried about the city and Saka horse are just coming and chipping away at his units. And to be honest, he has uh, his worries are well founded because we do have a lot of Saka horse are just coming back. Okay, guys, guys, what do you think? Quick answer over here. Um, what do you think? Is the Zulu attack over? Is it dead? And uh, Muzrat, hello, hello there, sir. Good evening. No way in hell is Zulu pushing north through those hills. <laughs> oh, man. man, it did manage to get, first of all, a promotion on the warrior. Okay, that that is fine. That is fine. He got a promotion uh, faster than the swordsman uh, was coming out. Okay. And then he lost another horse while uh, this horse somehow moved away oh i see what happened so spain moved his archer inside he got a promotion on it left open a tile this horse ran away to the west side and then these uh, units the swordsman and the warrior did attack into this man if only he would have attacked the encampment he would have taken a unit and a district down and not losing a single horse oh my god it is what it is i mean i do have to point out this is um one of the beautiful things that we have in uh, Civ, and um, it, it is something that the players uh, do like to specialize in. This is exactly the moment we can actually talk a little bit about how important your moves are during the game, how important uh, where you position them, how important how you actually... Um... Oh, he took down the city! 
He took down a city. Apology is left without damage, without the sugar. He's only gonna have salt from now on. We do have Apology with definitely quite a few horses. He has four horses right here. He pushed back the Korean general, but those Korean units were just there to do the damage. And Aztec, as you can see, is left without a city. He's down to four cities okay well we do have a korea uh, building uh, another defensive line here to the west of sangju and i do see he's pumping out the swordsman like there's um uh, there's a fire somewhere we do have uh, military tactics coming up in two turns while uh, floppy is gonna get his uh, feudalism next turn. we got one two three four uh rebuilds for the samurais i don't think that's enough for him to actually push properly into korea's uh, land i do see here floppy is uh, trying to um, get the visibility sending hannibal barca across uh, the border here into the korean territory so he again get a sniff of uh, the korean units here he wants to smell mm, korea has one horse over there let me uh, uh yeah i only source one but they're they're about to upgrade oh uh, yeah there's an archer somewhere but i can't pinpoint it is it next to me <laughs> yeah they don't even have to get the uh, free sim exactly they needed to get free sim tokugawa i guess uh the court with the pants down yeah he did get with the pants down i think we actually need to put up the team labels right i'm pretty sure uh, most of you are actually uh used to taking a look but the, for the new uh, viewers i think we should actually put the d sharks here on the left side and we do have uh, on the right side last day company that's lsc Oh, Compania de Fripturi. I'm not gonna lie, that's a very good name in Romanian also. It makes me think only of steak. Uh, Victor, uh, nice uh, Vic to Victor promotions. Hello, hello there, sir. Well, 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 let's actually see what's uh, gonna happen here with uh, the matchup between the Japanese uh, samurais and, of course, the Maritimes of Korea, both of them benefiting from generals, while uh, they're also gonna have civil service. I think, actually, Flop is gonna be late on civil service, isn't he? I would imagine so. Anyway, uh, after Korea did manage to secure his uh, border to the west, does he uh, have enough units pre uh, to actually withstand an attack? He's going to go for another wave of settlers from his main cities. Now, uh, I do uh, want to take a look what's going on here because this is another very important part. We do have uh, Persia with um, quite a bit of a problem. His opponent, Scythia, Captain Morgan, is moving in, pouring through. I, I can't even say moving in. This is pouring through. This is basically you know one of those um uh, fireman hoses that gets out of control it gets everywhere man have you seen the power of that water that's impressive anyway looks like captain morgan is getting through and he's not taking um, any prisoners he's gonna start uh, smashing through the persian defenses and uh, aztec even if he does have vilnius next to him he can't really do anything about it and we do have new units immortals coming up from tarsus new units from pasagarde there are certainly enough chops around his territory but people will need to get enough builders to chop all of this territory and we do have uh, also people without a general Scythia not only has a general but he already has uh, an inherent plus five against the units uh, put up the prediction before him uh, yeah but I'm a, a little bit afraid to actually put up the prediction not gonna lie uh, I think you guys have a little bit too much information <laughs> uh who will win okay let's see uh lsc and d shark there we go we got the two choices i'm gonna put it for 10 minutes guys because uh yeah i don't know i don't know um it is what it is didn't dream up uh, text coco is no more yeah and it looks like another one of these horses has died we do have uh, immortal showing up more units showing up building another line of defense and it looks like the persian horse uh, from the north of tarsus is also going to be taken down there's no way that's actually remaining alive with so little health it, it doesn't even look like the city and units have fought look at that they're getting all of the uh, health back whenever they're killing weaker so weaker units of uh, his opponents uh, what about kick w yeah kick w yes uh okay let's get this so on uh, youtube as well uh sean hello there sir and welcome uh that was impressive indeed start a poll for who will win we do have uh, d shark and we do have a uh, steak company there we go 
Looks like uh, Colosseum is going to finish in six turns. A little bit confusing how Ostia got placed next to it, but I guess it's fine. No, he is uh, going to get another city center there to benefit from the extra amenities. We do have uh, commercial hub investments getting out. Uh, Hypatia has been picked up by uh, Korea, giving him that extra edge when it comes to the science. And of course, the extra library already activated. 34 science, 31 culture. Now, uh, did get his um, upgrade here on the men at arms. He, it, it does cost him a lot, and he doesn't have a, a very good uh, gold generation here. Uh, compared to everybody else in the game but neither does uh, floppy and floppy definitely has a uh, lower stats than his opponent with samurai's coming out we can see the damage it looks like this swordsman with garrison commander military alliance general and oligarchy it should withstand the damage of these samurais yeah uh, for quite a few hits the men at arms should be more than adequate to uh, fight against these yeah uh, let's see here okay tarsus is kind of strong though it is kind of strong and he's not taking units if he starts to do that no, I guess we're gonna need to see boom that's one that's two and another horse goes down and look at that the city and horse is actually higher in strength than the initial attack kick w i want to say it is kind of a skill to actually um learn how to attack with the city and units and keep your health up uh, you always um, do want to attack uh, last with the lowest hp unit as uh, basically like a, not not really a rule as a baseline as a benchmark because you want to get the heals popping off on that one rather than the ones that uh, are not damaged as much anyway um it is situational also i'm not gonna delve in but i'm I do want to make a disclaimer that it is a situation how a situational how you're gonna get the best out of those um, bonuses. Uh, we do have also Cynthia managing to get uh, in his territory here. Uh, 24 faith per ten to work for him from uh, so many kurgans. I do see one, two, three, four, five uh, have been uh, upgraded. Six have been upgraded in his initial territory, giving him even as uh, much as five faith each. Oh my God, he has one, two, three on five faith, five faith each. Anyway. Yeah, quite a few other cities that uh, are going to need to make kurgans here new horses being bought uh, every other turn and being sent pouring through his opponent uh, territory while we do have uh, him also knocking on the doorstep of sparta the main attack is happening in tarsus a bit um a bit um of a problem for captain morgan whenever he's going to deploy the saka horse arches against these uh, immortals uh, there will be quite a bit of a trade-off here the immortals are definitely going to be strong to keep on uh, doing the damage against the saka horse arches and withstand damage from those units while uh, if uh, these immortals get close up and personal they're going to delete the saka horse arches they're very strong in a melee attack remember the swordsman but again a very good advantage of these uh, persian immortals is the fact that they don't actually need to uh, spend uh, health to attack their opponents they do have the weaker attack of the archer which still of the ranged unit which still does get the benefits of everything else like the military alliance the general and so on and so forth the upgrades the promotions and so on to be honest i would say uh, the immortals shouldn't get the benefits of um, promotions for example because there are promotions from the military that should affect only the melee attack and not the ranged attack but i guess it's knocked in it's knock in and nobody actually took care of that and uh, nobody is that annoyed about it so i'm very happy that we do have uh, strong immortals it is what it is yeah don't get me wrong persians are one of my favorite civilizations uh the eclipse was pretty sweet oh nice okay so it uh, came and went that's it we we just went past the uh, past it okay it is what it is um okay so let's see here nothing really is moving we do have uh, Aste getting to uh, replace his city looking at the economy still a better economy on Aste company but it, it's not too shabby on apology on people uh looking at uh, zulu he's getting pushed back by spain he uh, only got out with two horses the third one is i don't know where this guy is going but i guess he's going on a trip uh we do have uh, also more campuses coming in and europe cinema is going to put his government plaza with with the uh, wall of Strong finished inside of it definitely needs a lot more science doesn't have the gold to upkeep that science but he is managing to keep uh, a little bit uh, on i would say on the same place as uh, some brother 89 production versus 87 production 33 science versus 28 and 33 culture versus 40 not that uh, much of a difference between them uh, with um, some also getting his um uh, campus is soon we're going to need to see if he's going to manage to put uh, keep on expanding on the west side here towards uh, the northwest of zulu and the northeast of rome where to be honest he's kind of safe he's uh, far away from everybody else he still didn't actually get uh, his cities on the other side and how did this get pillaged 
411 fish tile got pillaged over there. Well, it is what it is. Now, he's also starting to uh, trade with uh, Scythia here, which is definitely going to generate a lot more gold for both of them. It does seem like Scythia is managing to punch through and break the line of defense of Persia slowly, but surely we did have these immortals uh, without enough strength from a general to actually do the counter damage against the Scythian units. And as you can see, they have a problem even with the melee attack to attack into the Scythian uh, horses. These Saka horse archers are chipping away their um, opponent opponent's uh, health and uh, getting to achieve more experience points which it will mean more damage this is a snowball that uh, i think people is gonna find very hard to uh, counter here well at the moment people is a uh, pen passion voice golden is 36 science 48 culture is not that bad he does have civil service coming out next turn and that might have been also another problem uh, does captain morgan have military alliance no he does not okay uh, neither is captain morgan benefiting from uh, military alliance i guess that's fine yeah no way for persia to chop walls will city i can take the gamble and go for the kill or just uh, go for the cities uh, i think he's uh, gonna keep um, how to say so first of all he's gonna take Lahore by the looks of it and second of all he if he is uh, gonna actually do damage against persia i think he's not gonna keep the cities i think he's just gonna um, delete them he doesn't want to take the risk of them being uh, retaken or at least i wouldn't I mean, he's so far away and I, there is enough territory here for him to keep on simming keep on expanding no uh, no reason to get greedy against uh, your opponent like this uh, i i'm actually curious if he's gonna attack the city center or if he's gonna do something else here he can definitely pillage the trader which is a win a very big win uh horse of his doesn't have a promotion and it looks like uh, the saka horse archer here uh well it was attacked he does have a promotion and uh, you do see these immortals are actually quite strong but so many units from city are available to attack into um into these units hello persia immortal wait he should be able to attack right or do you need one movement one full movement i'm pretty sure he should be able to attack even with a 0 0.5 he just can't move he should be able to uh, use the ranged attack anyway uh coming back to the zulu um spain got a lot of trade roads doesn't like he's um worried about zulu anymore uh we do have uh, eliop sim here still simming getting his housing getting his campuses that plus five did get activated here in the south very nice uh we don't have him uh, getting new cities out but he's on uh, six so that's a very good number at this point in the game okay uh rome did manage to finish his colosseum uh, looking at the city states here we do have johannesburg auckland and mexico city for um, the production and i do see auckland is at the moment being held by sambro and sambro is is he is he spain yeah it is spain so he's getting all of that uh, extra production on these tiles no wonder he's uh, having so many good tiles over here to work definitely will need more he just put down a wonder is this um colossus i think this is colossus right I think it uh, if it was um, the other one mausoleum mausoleum no the great lighthouse the great lighthouse I think it looked the base would have looked def different like more rectangular um there are very few here it one uh, was uh, just need to travel yeah I think the only <clears throat> sun eclipse that I have ever seen was the one from like the 2000s or something like that that was seen in uh, Europe or 99 I don't remember I know Romania printed some like special um, uh, special notes for it like special money for it it was a 2000 lay uh, something anyway we do have uh, Korea getting attacked by the samurais looks like these samurais don't have enough damage and uh, they do have two generals with them right on toe now we do have floppy uh, trying to push in through the forest and as you can see Korea is not actually putting these units across that forest so he can uh, actually uh, push back you know um, how to say these units from the forest he has uh, he did manage to get the crossbows he will need a lot more crossbows to actually withstand the next attacks uh, I'm pretty sure these samurais are strong enough to withstand at least uh, three or attacks of the crossbow so he definitely needs uh, four or five of them to um, shoot at a single unit well the gold shouldn't be a problem on the whole team but he doesn't have a lot of gold per turn he's on minus one and getting his wall of in three turns putting down another city to the north and uh, will need to prepare against uh, aztec here 
coming back to the city states we do have a cat with a volin for a military power we do have mogadish also the only one for trade and nobody has it i do see kiaguana with kumasi and mohenio that are going to be providing the culture which neither uh wait sorry neither kumasi or kiaguana has uh, been uh, soothed but i do see kilayat does have mohenio daro uh, kilayat is on korea right Kilaid is on Korea, so he gets the full fresh water even if he settles in a non-fresh water setting just because of uh, Mohenio Daro. That's actually a very, very powerful city. Um, a few Doomsday Eclipse uh, every year, Kek W. Uh, you were alive? I was, I was. Yeah, I'm alive from 86, bro. Yeah, I know. The funny thing, I was... Uh, I mean, I guess that's uh, that's a very weird period around this part over here especially with Chernobyl popping off in 86 around my birthday uh yeah Woohoo! let's go yeah imagine being alive no imagine going outside <laughs> yeah. yeah bro anyway um Looking at uh, Rome, he did get a lot of cities. He's already on a uh, two, four, six, eight, and I do notice he's putting down his industrial zones. Finally, we get to see the setup, the bands uh, to the south to make this to make this Aretium bigger. And I do see Rome uh, did choose in the capital to go for in the industrial zone to the northwest, uh, where uh, he is also going to have a theater square there. Not bad. He definitely needs a lot of culture and science for the later part of the game. Forty right now with seventy-five, one hundred forty-three production. While on the other side, Shaka and people do manage to get over a hundred. But I gotta say, people over here is in serious trouble with uh, Cynthia starting to upgrade many times right in, next to him. We do have uh, more of these Saka horse archers getting in, and I do notice he's uh, also getting uh, pillaged by the looks of it. Persia is uh, putting down a scout to deal with him. Uh, crossbows coming in from Cynthia, stronger units is definitely gonna mean a problem for uh, Persia. He was doing so much damage with just horses. Imagine if he brings men at arms to the table. Well, people here has his own uh, men at arms in two turns and also pikemen if he wants to upgrade into them. We do need to see if uh, Scythia will have uh, enough damage to do this. Well, uh, he's definitely going to keep on going. They both have 40 signs, 40 signs, like 40, 47. We do have 35, 53 difference in... Um, uh, culture while i do notice um city definitely has less production he still has that faith to convert into um, units from his ability to buy the cav units uh, looking at the era score, since we're uh, starting to tick down the clock until the next era, we got only three more turns until we're gonna see the next era. While Eliop Sim will need eight more points to go to the go for the Golden Age, we do have him uh, not that far away, to be honest, not that far away from getting his divine right. And uh, I'm pretty sure he already has the core ability. Shouldn't he have already the core ability? Oh my god, he doesn't have a single unit that's next to another unit, so I can see. Anyway, uh, he should have the core ability. Um, and I'm thinking why is he not uh, doing it anyway it is what it is i'm pretty sure he's gonna do it at some point he's gonna caught up a unit somewhere um he's probably has a plan in mind to actually put everything to work here is this a plus three campus this is a plus three campus oh he already had a plus five so that's not a splendid uh getting knights out soon looks like uh, we might see another attack against spain we're gonna need to come back to this uh, to see what's going on um tokugawa he's still pushing against uh, korea looks like at this point he did manage to get the uh, significant amount of samurais moving in and uh, he is uh, ending up just looking at the korean in camon because he can't really do much about it we do have korean crossbows ready to pounce uh, men at arms are also ready to counter attack and these samurais are not strong enough to attack into garrison commander uh, men at arms here now we do uh, need to take a look at his era score he's going dark age by the looks of it he's at 38 points out of 40 very low in uh, the point screen here uh, well, I guess we're going to need to wait and see if he's going to manage to get uh, his uh, enough points for a Golden Age. He would need 13 points. That's not easy to get in three turns. It's not impossible, but it's not easy to get. Now, we do have also Apology, 46 out of 52. Did manage to put a city to Tihuacan right on the borders of Japan. And while I do notice he's getting that army in Tlacopan, we might actually see him try to go for some courses against his opponent, his uh, next-door Korean opponent. While we do have him going for Will, it looks like he He's kind of far away from getting uh, courses. He's probably like six turns out from getting courses. Well, we do have um, also Nader Shah. 
with uh, 45 out of 49 only needs four more points to get uh, his golden age while i do notice he's getting pushed quite hard he did manage to get enough immortals from his uh, series to um, uh, counter these uh, pushes from uh, city and anyway, we still have a very 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 bad situation for him anyway this horse should be dead okay well i guess he really insisted to do the um, attack with that uh, with that ranged attack it is what it is uh city and saka horse arches need to get in and uh, they would really need to get their promotions popping off also these are going to be significantly stronger if uh, they do get the promotions this, especially the level the second promotion anyway you do see that Scythia is getting uh, to massively buy as many heavy chariots as possible before he's going to get syrups next turn he has already one two three four five six uh, out of his cities and they're going to get quickly in the city of Lahore where I gotta say it is rebelling in seven turns that's, but that's more than enough time for him to actually get these upgraded there and keep on going against persia um Scythia is also three points out right now from getting his golden sambro 50 out of 50 points he did manage to secure his golden age and i did notice he did finish a great bath with stonehenge he probably got a religion or will get a religion soon and uh, we do have him working on the great lighthouse no it is the great lighthouse okay they look basically the same when they're being put down first kek it is the great lighthouse in toledo uh, Kilad going Dark Age as well, 39 out of 42 points, having men at arms uh, two turns from his cities, and I do see him putting down a Diplo Quarter from Chan Chan. Uh, we do have also Pingala establishing in that city center, while he will need to get a few more mines around his seons to increase his science capacity. He's right now on 36 science with 31 culture, definitely much better than Tokugawa when it comes to the science, and I do see he has a similar production to his next door neighbor. But irrelling Tokugawa like this is not, it, it is very important for them they are basically um yelling each other out here kilad and uh, floppy they're keeping each other from actually seeming uh, looking at Mal, he is uh, 58 points out of 51, uh, did manage to get uh, these two cities on the east side here and of course uh, I do see him uh, working on his economy very nicely, 59 science, 84 culture, 65 gold at 10 with 182 production significantly bigger than everybody else in the game, like he's what 30% bigger than everybody else in the game, 40% bigger um how can they die if they are named immortals that is true it hurts to watch japan struggle <laughs> yes yes i mean he's getting so many units here but floppy the second he actually put shizuoka he kind of embraced tyrell and i think this was the plan all along to be honest i think that was the plan all along to try to irrel korea until uh, aztec shows up there right that's what i'm thinking but at the moment it doesn't look like apology is showing up there uh, as quickly as they want to with 67 science he definitely has the science necessary to go through the text quickly mercen is coming up engineering coming up uh, his um pre-builds are only light calves and we're going to need to see if he's uh, going to manage to secure his golden no he's going dark he might be going dark against korea and to be honest korea might be in trouble here if he doesn't go immediately if, uh, i don't think he even has time he needs uh, military engineering and he needs uh, musketman technology, right? Uh, what is that? Uh, how do you call it? Uh, rifle something? Gunpowder, gunpowder. For the um, Hawacha. Hawacha! Anyway, Pingala jumping in uh, Chancho might give him that extra edge in science, but I uh, do definitely feel uh, confident that Apology is going to get this attack uh, quite a few times before the Hawachas are going to be available for Kilaid. If he goes there directly, like if he uh, goes there directly as in castles, he gets uh, printing right afterwards on the time that these uh, Aztec uh, courses will get to uh, Pyongyang and uh, hit Korea from the north. Bună seara, Henning Dave, hello, Dersen, and welcome! What do we have here? Scythia moving back quite a few units, started to upgrade his knights in the city of Lahore. And uh, I do see, of course, that city is getting a little bit of uh, loyalty from uh, the knight inside of it. But I'm pretty sure those are going to get uh, to move soon. We do have uh, the knights with uh, serious damage against these immortals. They can two-shot them quite easily. And of course, uh, that's not even with the plus five against them. Uh, not even the general. He doesn't even have the general. That's going to be such a powerful unit against his opponent here. Uh, the biggest problem would be 
uh, getting them through the hills towards Tarsus, and he and I gotta say, Persia over here definitely has a pretty good defensive territory. One of the things that is happening, um, I do notice the city and Saka horses are starting to gather promotions from uh, just attacking the city of Tarsus's walls. While Scythia putting Bennett arms right in the front uh, face of that city center, it is going to be tough to get rid of those. Uh, we do need to see also if Scythia is going to start to upgrade some of these um, Saka horses with the promotions into crossbows. Level 2 crossbows, level 2 Scythian crossbows in particular are deadly are extremely strong uh, we do have uh, him able to actually buy a few um, no, how buy a few bring a few from his series and upgrade a serious amount of uh, crossbows from whatever he had around you yeah, we do have also um, catapults moving into the front and uh, i'm pretty sure those are, will take down the walls we do need to see the upcoming attack right now it's a little bit chaotic like the battlefield is a little bit chaotic but it will reveal the plan in uh, the plan will be revealed in just a few uh, turns here I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Looks like Japan kind of gave up on attacking Korea. We do have the Corsairs uh, getting out. And I do see uh, the Kilad is trying to keep a uh, scout over there. A uh, uh, horse towards the cities of uh, Aztec. Aztec is going to do the same thing that Korea did to him. And going to try to go through the fog of war directly against Pyongyang. There is another scout to the northeast that might get a whiff of those Corsairs. And we do need to see if Apology is going to manage to get a surprise attack against his opponent safely here. By the looks of it, he still has quite a bit of movement on these courses. Like this one, two movements. So this one should move here. This one should move uh, here. This one should move here. And this one move on the oil tile. Uh, he doesn't have a general. That's a bit bad. Pyramids have been built in Atacapotzalco. And yeah, there we go. He's moving in. He's moving in. Moving out. Moving in. And next turn, we're probably going to see uh, Kinai attack into his opponent. But we do have a pause here. I do want to um, <clears throat> synchronize over here with uh, Mam... Uh, Distoria. Sorry, Distoria. With Theodore. Uh... Wait, okay, so two minutes and we're coming back. Okay, let's see the Corsair attack. Looks like nature. He's not stopping and he's taking out the Tlacopan's health here. We do have um, in the World Congress great generals, uh, no points. Uh, that means uh, Montezuma is not going to get a general. Ranged units are uh, getting plus five. And I do notice there's a little bit of um, an attack over here on the Japanese units. One of those uh, units has been taken down, but at the cost of a lot of health from these uh, Korean men at arms. Well, now Floppy might actually get. Uh, oh my. What, what happened to his units? We were just here. What happened to these three samurais? Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Well, that, that's kind of bad. He has three samurais that are very low HP. 
Anyway, uh, let's actually see on uh, Shaka, Drums of War, right? He did go Drums of War, and I do see him uh, following up with uh, Knight Chords. Uh, we did have him uh, managing to get his uh, Golden Age. Uh, Tokugawa, Dark Age. He does have uh, Divine Ride next in two turns, and I do see he's uh, probably putting up the plus five card against his opponent, but so is Korea, so it is what it is. Yeah, he does have the plus five card. Uh, Korea is in a Dark Age of his own, and guess what? He will probably also have the plus five card. Many times are 71 strength, and he does not have the plus five card. Wait, he does not have the plus five card. Mm, oh, he did put it in. Okay, the, the bonus just didn't uh, show us. Or did he didn't put it after we showed the bonuses. Uh, Montezuma, 68 science with 38 culture, did uh, go for a dark age of his own. And now he's going to have the opportunity to attack from the north uh, with those courses with the extra plus 5. And plus 6 That's luxury attack Prime. bonus. This is a Clear plus there. 11 that he Almost has over two Korea. Years with amazing Civ content. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Thank you so much, Cleozin. Thank you. Uh, on that scout, just saw it. Now that the camera moved, it shouldn't have seen them. Uh, I can't see any of the scout above the sun. Something is uh, hap uh, Something is off. Wait, I can't see any. Oh, you mean this one? You mean this one? Yeah, weird. I think it is, right? Anyway, uh, we do have uh, Aztec moving in. Korea is uh, repositioning his uh, defense, and looks like right now he is aware that he's uh, going to be attacked from multiple sides here. He will need to upgrade that sword money to a minute time as quickly as possible, but it looks like uh, these units are going to start attacking his cities immediately. They got a whiff of that city and Pyongyang, and well, it looks like uh, he's going to be taken down. Unless he actually wants tens walls or chops them, which I don't see either of those uh, happening. Now we do have uh, the Samurai actually with enough strength to take down this uh, Meta Time quite easily. The second these Meta Times actually get out of the borders of uh, Sangju, they're extremely weak because of the loss of uh, Governor Victor and of course the defense of these cities. This, uh, I do have to say, these tiles carry with them an extra plus uh, 6, right? Because they do have the heal plus 3. Uh, you see the defense modifier is plus 6. You would have an extra plus 6. This is amazing of, uh, when you have same strength units going against each other. The second he move those out he lost the plus six and the 45 bonus as well on these uh, units and governor victor so he lost like what uh nine plus uh, four 13 points 13 points of defense on these units abolucia kaka thank you so much sir good evening and welcome also rab hello there sir does the korean scout see the aztec courses he does not no he does not this korean scout actually did not do his job he was um <laughs> yeah it is what it is uh it is what it is he was uh, late i guess uh, you know he wanted to take a little bit of skinny dipping in the river and totally forgot uh, to do his job he, he thought he's being sent on a vacation by korea and uh well yeah it is what it is now it's too late that scout is gonna be like oops <laughs> yeah oops <laughs> uh oh pause. uh it looks like we're gonna have a pause for uh, five minutes let me actually put the timer on. Okay. There we go. It's a good moment for me to answer questions over here in the chat. Talk about other stuff if you want to. Okay, what's going on here? Intelligence agency coming up in one. Uh, we got more bands for the fresh water there. Connecting his cities, more campuses. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for uh, theater squares after this. Uh, 100 plus science. It is in a free inquiry golden age. He's getting the free inquiry bonus from all of these uh, commercials. He did double them from what I do see. And uh, I do notice he has quite a few actually uh, good, very good industrial zones. Like the plus 6 turns into plus uh, 16. Oh my god, I love this line. This this train line of aqueducts, by the way. It feels like Ostia and Achillea are connected by a railway. You see? Is there also a CWC for FFA? No, we don't have. A, well, I guess you can call, but it's not really a CWC for FFA. Um, you can call the uh, the Hidden Cup, basically, a CWC for FFA, but it's more uh, directed towards the French uh, community rather than uh, in international one. Uh, how much production on Rome? He is on 269 points of production. 
while at the moment nobody from uh, the opponents are even coming close. Uh, he's basically doubled the amount of production and of uh, any of his opponents. This is uh, this is quite uh, something. Korea, yes, he might die, uh, but we do need to see if Rome is gonna come back and clean this up. Uh, Rome, uh, sorry, Nadershaw on the other side is taking quite a bit of a beating from uh, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan is gonna manage to uh, secure uh, the city of Tarsus quite quickly. While I do notice uh, these knights will just need a few um, attacks on the Manatans to take them down. It's just a matter of actually getting uh, that extra damage from the beginning to actually tie and uh, give more to this oh thank you so much Terio dingos sir thank you so much um salty capybara oh dear the japanese invasion of korea yeah i mean it is what it is man yeah they have been fighting for so long over here from the beginning of this planet uh, you have to win. You bet twenty two thousand on Last Day Company. Well, I think the biggest the, the biggest question mark is uh, Mam Seeming over here is going to manage to make a difference. This is uh, the biggest difference. I do notice uh, also Japan did send a few of these samurais to Mohenia Dano. He's going to take that city down, and uh, immediately Mam did put a few defensive units in uh, Mediolanum. Probably that will turn into knights uh, at uh, any moment he wants. He's going for his education and mercenaries, and of course uh, getting the ability to get universities will help him out a lot in the next part there's really nobody really seeming on d shark and this is the problem like apology right now is putting every effort he can into uh, korea while in his uh, cities is uh, lacking for two things amount of cities and amount of districts that's the problem right here yes he will have um, the win on korea but is it worth sacrificing two of their players to take out one of their opponents while there will be a significant chance that rome will just come back and clean up um liberate those cities of sejong and this is uh, quite a conundrum over here for them uh, you might say that, okay, we might see Zulu simming here, but uh, to be honest, he's gonna have, Zulu is also going to have a hard time of his own if we're going to have uh, Spain over here uh, get uh, his religion with Crusade. We don't know what religion he picked yet. He did get it in Bilbao, but uh, oh, let's see. He, oh no. Why defend of the faith, bro? I mean, I think he could have taken down Zulu at um, Conquistador timing with Crusade. I think he would have had enough damage to actually take down, take him down. Uh, Malm 1 versus 4 solo win here. It might happen. Also, Monstra, thank you so much for the 100 bitties. Thank you, sir. Happy partner indeed. I, I, to be honest, I was trying to think how long have I actually been partnered with uh, Twitch. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's 2 years or 3 years, to be honest. <laughs> but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. I think Dave, thank you so much for the 100 bitties also. Uh, Korea does need to get his escape settler. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But I do see Rome is actually getting a settler there. I'm not sure what Rome is going to... Oh, he's putting a city on the same coast, maybe? <clears throat> um, oh, we got also a hype train going on. Okay, okay. Choo-choo, it is. Starting off with a very, very interesting mind lake. Uh, White Defender of the Faith against Zulu. It's Zulu. That's a war machine. Yes, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, so I guess this is uh, the question mark between the two doctrines, right? Um, going on the offense to uh, have the better defense or uh, focusing on your defense to uh, keep your series alive. I guess we're going to need to see. We're going to need to see if uh, the choice that Sambro made over here being defensive is the correct one. I do have to say that um, Last Day Company is trying as hard as they can to actually be relevant in the game. with standing attacks from their opponents and uh, trying to sim over them. With uh, Malm over here getting the free sim, this is very important. At the same time, we do have uh, Zulu with the ability to actually um, attack into him from uh, this side, from Nobamba. And he doesn't... Oh my god, he doesn't have anything. Guys, if if Eliop Sim is actually gonna attack Rome, Malm is gonna die. With all of his science and technology, Malm is just gonna die. Okay, we take down the countdown, we're back in the game here, and we do need to see what's uh, gonna happen next. Yeah, I think Spain is trying to uh, seem behind uh, those two border cities, so he went to defend. And yeah, there we go, Zulu attacking with a knight. He does have... Uh, 
you know, yes, yes, I think also Spain is trying to defend here rather than uh, attack. And I'm pretty sure uh, Zulu just got the mess. Uh, I think, well, I hope he understood that he cannot put uh, more pressure on Spain in, through those choke points. And he has uh, basically, look at that, a highway towards his opponent over here. We got an I-95 for uh, Nobamba. Let's actually see. We got a one, a one, two here right three four turns to actually attack uh, caesar augusta four turns with night course to attack caesar augusta then looking at the damage against the spearmen they're not even gonna care they exist well i'm pretty sure malm is gonna get his military tactics for the pikeman upgrade and gonna build quite a few of them he does have the production we're going to need to see if it's gonna be enough of course with a possible crossbow on uh, following up uh, right behind these night courts we might actually see uh, zulu overwhelm that defense we do need to see if he is actually going to manage to push and successfully into his opponent um let's actually see here looks like Cynthia is uh, gonna get another few hits on the city of tarsus his uh, knight is more than strong enough to withstand attack from the from the mana times of his opponent and i do notice he has a way of attacking into these um mana times and taking at least one of them down following up an attack on another immortal even if it is uh, low hp he's gonna get two heals uh if he chooses to do so uh, we do have a few uh Saka horse archers also getting in there doing look at look at this Saka horse guys this Saka horse archer a unit from the ancient era no it's classical right it's classical because it gets the bonus from the general guys it's stronger than the freaking men at arms. A melee unit. What the? WTF, bro? Well, we do have ranged attacks uh, stronger, right? We do have uh, the plus five on the ranged attacks while the pro is on people. Now, we do need to see if uh, that's going to be enough. Wait, and he's putting that back? Whoa, 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 whoa. And he's moving back another one? Why is he so defensive here? Well, I guess he's uh, setting up a trap for another one of these men at arms to get attacked. Let's actually see if it's going to be enough. He's going to have uh, two of these uh, units taken down regardless, right? He lost a knight here, so this should... No. Okay. Captain Morgan, what happened here? I mean, so many good moves, and I don't know why he actually uh, moved away from that time. Well, I guess it is what it is. He just... Uh, yeah. He just baited over here, people. That was a bait. Still doing the attack on the city of Tarsus, taking out the walls uh, slowly but surely. Uh, there is a second catapult walking in and so many units. The water keeps on flowing here with uh, the units of Scythia going against his opponent. Uh, we do have uh, also Captain Morgan in uh, Golden Age, Drums of War, while Pipo is in a Penbrush and Voice uh, Golden Age. Of course, uh, Tomeris' production is going to be much more tuned towards building units. And that looks to be his only mission in mind build units as many as possible to take down your opponent's cities especially tarsus well that would e t uh, equal out right uh, if uh, they lose uh, kilad um it's good to actually take out persia and i'm pretty sure there we go with aztec managing to do the damage against the korean city it looks like korea is starting to lose his footing here against uh, the um, amazing japanese samurais and the aztec uh, plus six units uh, coming from the north we do have uh, more uh, of these men at arms coming in and uh, this is going to put pressure also on rome rome is going to have three front lines to take care of one in uh, the northwest one in the west side mediolandum and one on the east side these uh zulu knight cores could actually attack into the pikemen when they well, sorry when these pikemen do not have a general that uh, can do quite a bit of damage and it looks like they're uh, they're going to try to find a way directly to the capital of rome they're trying to actually get through, not to Caesar Augusta, but to Rome. Which is probably going to be a much more important target. And I really hope this settler is not a safety settler. I, I really hope so. I really hope so. Um, why is uh, Captain Mo Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, it was, um, how to say, it was a bait. It was a bait. He didn't want to take all of the damage from uh, Persia, right, uh, on his units. So he uh, moved back to save one, lost uh, a horse to the west side. I'm pretty sure he could have done it a little bit differently. But again, it's um, it was his choice. He has so many units, uh, he might not be thinking about the value of each that much. Oof, he had a promotion on that. And on this, he has a promotion. There we go.
okay also another wave of units there are so many units here that he kind of you know ran out of space to attack into tarsus so the other units were going to start attacking into Bactri here to the east side and this is where persia right now does not have an army of course there is a possibility for him to just bypass Bactri and go towards vilnius also uh, looking at uh, korea getting attacked from the north is not really good for him a lot of these um, tiles will be pillaged and that's going to be more gold for the war machine of uh, germany and the aztec uh, germany wow uh, war machine of japan and the um, aztec while um, i do notice uh, we do have the night courts coming up from zulu they are taking that good old time to actually get into the borders of rome and uh, eliopsim kind of gave up his hand um he moved this horse into visibility and of course uh, rome's uh, pikemen did see it that will mean rome will know what's going on there is no way that eliopsim is going to get um, a surprise attack against the city of rome anymore you know we do have malm positioning more units next to caesar augusta deploying victor inside of that city center for the extra defense and uh, we do have him following up with more of these um, campuses and of course the libraries the buildings in them so he jumps he jump starts his uh, science well i mean to be honest he's not that far off from making more science than his enemies combined especially thinking he doesn't even have um uh, he has a single right now he has a single library in a campus uh, no no two three three he has three and he's building up um his um his universities in them right now uh campus research projects where was this uh, Hildegard, okay, this is uh, just him uh, trying to be competitive here. Rome is also going to be on Emotep pretty soon, uh, giving him more bonuses if he actually goes for a good wonder. Uh, Zulu didn't give up his hand. Rome had a scout near his border, so he never had a hidden hand. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So there was a there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a little bit of a difference here. Uh, a little bit of a nuance. So yes, he had a scout that got killed. Man did not know exactly where the attack will happen. The easiest <clears throat> direction would be to go against the frontline city Caesar Augusta and put the most defense there. <clears throat> There are ways for these units to go uh, against uh, the city of Rome through the mountains. And this was a tile that uh, Rome did not have visibility on. He did not know what's going on over here. Now, but unfortunately, the Zulu units uh, not only took too long, but uh, when this one was moving, this pikeman was actually moving here towards Caesar Augusta. When this guy was moving, he um, he got to spot a horse. And that's, that's basically it. That's, that's a dead end. Well, it is what it is um okay we do have Scythia here deploying those crossbows moving in with the units towards Bakhti there are crossbows coming out and I do have to say these Persian crossbows do help out a lot doing the damage against that city center uh the catapult uh, doesn't have a tile to move anymore if uh, that uh, knight gets out of there now by the looks of it he's also starting to run out of uh, stronger units to um, attack into Tarsus uh, definitely Persia pushing out uh, one tile at a time uh, getting the damage against Scythia is a bit of a problem uh, I do notice Flo Lopi doesn't have gold, Ulopsim doesn't have gold, Apology is only two, wait, they don't have gold at all. They're doing 22 gold and they're losing 30, what, 7? 37 gold? Okay. Village economy? That's gonna hold them for some time. Yeah, city I hear it does have uh, 10 gold a turn, this is positive, we got Malmo 42, Sambro 33. Man, this is just this this is just war all over the place uh temple of artemis in two turns in bilbao spain here is trying to get his sim up 154 production not bad keeping up with the uh, people apology and Ulop sim on 140 plus uh, all of them while i do notice uh, zulu is starting to put the pressure on rome it looks like his first uh, night court did arrive over there in caesar augusta which is gonna do some damage but since he is alone he doesn't have that much strength to go into these um into these units uh definitely more zulu night courts are coming in and uh, yes zulu is going to try to get some pillages this is very important for them they can't live without the pillages they need to do pillage economy right now and uh, i guess we're going to need to see what will happen here with floppy putting the pressure on and apology putting the pressure on korea we do have uh, them uh, getting their feet on quite a few of and hoofs on quite a few of these mines and uh, trying to uh, take them away from his opponent looking at um, the defense here that korea is putting up it doesn't seem like he's going to manage to withstand uh, too many more attacks until he's going to lose uh, at least another city you do need to you do also notice that japan is totally bypassing the the lands here 
he's totally bypassing the land here. He doesn't want to handle that um, forest anymore. And I get it. This this hilly forest is danger. Danger. We're lob. It's on danger. Wait, did Scythian just get pushed back by a no general Persia? I think Scythian got pushed back by a no general Persia. A kingdom for a military engineer to build some roads. That attack sector is poison. Yeah. Oh man, well, we do have uh, the knights over here that will manage to do some damage against the Persian units. The crossbows are uh, quite strong, but probably not as strong as the knights. And I do have uh, to say walls are coming up in three turns from Bakhtri. Uh, he doesn't have a builder to chop, and I definitely have to say, Sithia, uh, Persia played this beautifully. Didn't... Um, didn't lose a single city and uh, push back his opponent even though Tarsus was in major danger for quite a few turns here. Uh, ran out of stronger units, he did choose to deploy quite a few of them here and uh, I guess he, with so many units he kind of got lost where, where to put them. You know, he needed to know where to put the, each and every one of them. Uh, okay, we do have intelligence agency coming up next turn. Uh, I'm pretty sure Captain Morgan is going to need printing while uh, I did notice extra intel on opponent's movements from uh, the Persian units. That means he does have printing. Uh, Nader Shah did manage to get the 55 science, Captain Morgan 46. They shouldn't be that far apart from each other here. Okay, Scythia losing his uh, first horse. Also, can actually uh, do a few pillages. There we go. He's going to do a few pillages. But that also kind of takes away from his ability to attack uh, into his opponent. Oh, well. It is what it is. Next turn, um, we're probably going to have the walls uh, come up well before uh, any kind of significant damage is going to be done to the city. Uh, walls getting up in Seoul in one turn as well. We do have catapults from Japan being deployed there. And uh, slowly but surely, Aztec is starting to run out of health uh, and promotions on these units. He doesn't have a follow-up attack on his opponent. And I gotta say, at this point, it kind of feels like D-Shark. All four members of D-Shark are uh, kind of in real territory. If this attack on uh, Malm is not going to happen and the uh, Kilaid is just going to keep on uh, defending over here with the uh, crossbows, they get it. the Hawacha is going to be a big game changer. He just needs to keep uh, alive uh, some of these uh, crossbows and I'm pretty sure he's going to be fed gold. If the Hawachas come out, this attack is dead. There's, there's no way you can actually push into Hawachas with... Um, Courses, even with the plus 6, plus 12, whatever on them. Uh, they just sit in the city center and kill off your units, to shut your units. Um, I think that one turn where the captain backed was the end of the attack. City is at the ship that can back off. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Taking down uh, two other units would have been the correct play over there. And it would have allowed him to break in half the Persian defense and uh, keep on moving forward with his units to keep on doing damage. Yes, I, I agree with that. He moving back. The, um, he didn't. I don't think he trusted the knight strength. I don't think he trusted uh, how much damage he is able to withstand. Oh well, it is what it is. I mean, could have been a lot of other things, to be honest. I don't, I don't know if it is uh, ending up on that one, but I do agree that uh, there, it could have been played a little bit differently. Now, I do also want to point out when you make these decisions, like for us, for example, to think about these decisions, we actually have time. We really actually have time. We have more than five seconds to make a, to uh, look at the situation and try to um, uh, get a decision. Um, uh, try to go through the different scenarios that may play out uh, in uh, the different sequences of uh, movements. While the players don't really have that time. A lot of the time you do have uh, players using reflexes to actually get words uh, going rather than... Um, taking it logically on step-by-step -step movement of the units to actually attack into his op into their opponents because you really don't have time like physically there's no time to think uh, japan can do anything he wants no oh, they basically well by the looks of it he definitely needs more cities here he did manage to take out mohenio daro and has a significant army that can keep on going uh, towards rome as uh, one two, wow wow two four six eight samurais eight samurais from japan and they're all moving towards uh, korea
Okay, well, Zulu is getting his night cores everywhere here to the west of Nobamba. Uh, we do have him also getting some uh, crossbow and cores on the west side, but definitely not enough uh, to do um, a takeover attack. We do have uh, also Spain with um, many times upgraded. He probably just wanted to get them for good measure. He's getting his industrial zones down. I don't think they're very good ones, though. That's a plus three, and we do have a plus uh, one over here. That's going to get a plus uh, three and two soon. Uh, not that big didn't uh, specialize in these and i don't think his harbors are uh, that great either like plus three here plus three here plus uh two here uh, plus four oh they double plus two double uh there but anyway uh his shipyards are not gonna be amazing because of the harbor adjacency missing uh Cynthia got pushed back from buck three looks like captain morgan over here is upgrading a few trebuchets and uh, we do need to see if he's gonna follow up the attack on tarsus uh, tarsus does uh, get his uh, repair out the defenses um project now that uh, that city hasn't been attacked for a few turns he can actually get that going uh let's see here this is going to be important next turn is the big turn for Kilaad. he's going to get to upgrade at least uh two of these crossbows into hawachas and we're going to get to see the damage and yeah there we go immediately the japanese units and the aztec units are right ah oh, no we're out of here that's it that's it this is way too strong of a unit to um to go against it's like in sangju yeah 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 i can't uh, see the damage this time because it lost movement this is one of those units uh, like the artillery with only the general you can uh, move and shoot but without the general you cannot move and shoot uh japan stomping korea well this is the time that uh, korea is gonna stomp back Yeah, these units are getting out of there. Okay, so Korea is safe. Sambro is definitely getting ahead of his next door neighbor, Eliop Sim. Malm is uh, definitely ahead of both. And uh, by the looks of it, he's also securing his... Um a place over here on the board Eliop Sim is in a drums of war golden age and i gotta say uh, he can't really use these drums of war that much unfortunately for him he's trying to get as much science as possible but so was man getting his universities up soon and uh, with um, Imhotep as an um, engineer it looks like he's going to be looking at the building mausoleum at Halicarnassus there in Aquilea while he is starting to get the infrastructure down for uh, the later on war he's putting down in camels he got his uh, production up to 173 production points versus Eliopsim's uh, 176 and with look at that one two three universities coming out in the next two turns with um, another two campuses and another library that's probably going to be followed up by another university coming out from Malm so we should be looking at him getting uh, like 200 science in the next uh, three to five turns that's not going to be matched by Eliopsim not even close going to be matched by Eliopsim uh, he only has one, two universities, three universities coming up in the fourth, in the next four turns, and he kind of built the le the rest. So the science advantage here is definitely going to be on Malm. If he's going to manage to get the army advantage, that's a different thing. And how he's he going to try to use that uh, science advantage? Okay, we got more war units coming up from um, Apology. I do see catapults coming out, and we'll need to move towards the southeast here. The uh, Mahawachas just more. Please don't move the Mahawachas. Let me see. Okay, it's 70 damage against uh, 60, 50 something over here. Yeah, there we go. It, it's just look at that. It, it's not even a contest here, especially with the plus five advisory res resolution from this um, World Congress. These are just too strong. Okay, so that's not going to be an option for him. Rome doesn't want to get out here. He just wants to defend. Uh, Persia, 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 Persia with Scythia. Trebuchet will need to do the damage. And doesn't look like he's uh, able to push through anymore. We do have no generals this era. So we're going to have uh, all of the players starting to get the generals uh, next era. We're going to need to see how many of those he can get. Captain Morgan is uh, starting to lose the science and the culture race of, against his uh, next door neighbor here, people. But I'm pretty sure the city is still going to be relevant for quite some time in the game. And it's not like people can actually out -sim right now anybody. He's on uh, two, four, six cities. Uh, going to get his seventh and eighth. But it is going to be quite uh, late when he's going to put them down. Oh, and ninth. I see nine. I see another three uh, settlers moving to the south. I like what people did over here. Secure his borders, then moved um, out. I don't like the gold generation, though. 
This is their negative one, two, three players from D Sharks are negative. Only Apology is positive, and Apology is starting to get more units, which is not really going to help him at all with his um, economy. How much is that about Crouching Tigers dream of being when they grow up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, neither uh, Newton nor Khaldun was uh, taken. Uh, we do have them um, fixed on uh, Hildegard of Bingen. Also, Bloke uh, was saying, hello there, sir. He still irrelled him for the time being. Yes, yes. Korea only 59 cents. Japan did him good. He did, he did. Isn't it best to kill Korea early in every game? That would explain the four settlement. Yes, but he couldn't actually. <laughs> yeah, it would have been better if he would have managed to secure the victory, but he didn't. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, Mausoleum gonna finish next turn. Looks like he wanted it with Isodor. With, uh, wasn't that Imhotep? He got Isodor also? Didn't he get... What did he use Imhotep for? Oh, he did get both. Oh, I see. He got both. Well, I guess uh, he didn't want to choose the other one. It's fine. Uh, we do have... Uh, there we go. Malm jumped up to 179 signs. Uh, more campuses uh, coming in. And as you can see, Zulu is trying to get the city over here to the west of Nobamba. Uh, we do need to see where his techs are leading him. Eliopsim is getting shipbuilding. That might actually be for something else. <laughs> no, actually, there is no something else. Why is he getting shipbuilding? Check. I was thinking initially at the beginning of the game they will have some trade routes here, but that's not an option, especially with uh, Scythia and uh, Spain trading. And that's not going to be an option. Uh, Sambro being on those seas. You now we do have Sambro next to him managing to get uh, more science. He's putting more economy down and uh, getting his um, defense up in the southeast, putting more cities to the south and the southwest. And while uh, I do see finally Barcelona did get uh, settled in the north. Wave of builders, feudalism builders probably from every city to turning a commercial here. This kind of smells like a discount, a late discount, but still a discount. Uh, we do need to see how Malm is going to try to get his setup going. So more theater squares, he definitely needs more culture. He's in a free inquiry golden age and uh, doesn't have the culture from the pen brush. Uh, he, he will get um, a decent amount of these points for the great writers but right now he's only on one per ten we still have the 60 point writers uh, showing up and it does look like he didn't manage to roll a decent amount uh, from the first the 30 ones so that will make them expensive but i'm pretty sure he's gonna be um happy to just roll a few projects and get that anyway it's just gonna be well a few turns and we do have him also with uh, more than a decent amount of defense in the uh, caesar augusta to uh keep the zulu units out i'm pretty sure he's gonna manage to get to fill cannons well before zulu actually gets uh, his uh, cuirassier course here or cuirassier armies uh eliopsim going for backing three we do have uh, some words going on city states city states looks like mexico city might get attacked over here by malm i think uh, he just declared war on it no no he didn't <coughs> Uh, Malm gets Da Vinci and Newton and he'll be unstoppable. Well, if somebody actually picks uh, Hildegard. Uh, really? Nobody wants Hildegard? It's only Japan left, guys. It's only Japan left to pick or pass. That's it. And Japan? <laughs> He's never gonna get a uh, campus. Is he? Uh, uh, rip. Uh, Riparoni, yeah, it is what it is. Well, now uh, Korean muskets and how much are starting to get out uh, here, and it looks like he's repairing his warlord's throne. He's gonna need quite a few more units to uh, put up a new defense, but it looks like Japan uh, kind of ran out of units to attack into him. And the power of these uh, samurais, well, it just got outmatched. Uh, we do have uh, also Cetia here that would require a much stronger unit to go against Persia again. While I do notice he uh, kind of stopped seeming, we do have him on two, four, five, six cities at the moment with the possibility to maybe get two more that are not gonna be that great well he does need more cities and uh, to be honest this isn't that bad for it and this or this the truffle tile isn't that bad you can aqueduct it and you do have uh, very good tiles around it anyway 
But in the meantime, he's going to try to get a stronger economy. We still don't have uh, much of economy for D-Shark, but it looks like they're balancing it out. People did manage to get uh, more gold in the meantime, and he is uh, managing to um, reposition his armies to push back uh, the Scythian ones. Uh, Scythia looks like he's going to try to get into the borders of Aztec and maybe try to pillage a few tiles from there. In the meantime, on the other side of the planet here, looks like uh, Rome did get a few knights towards Sangju. Uh, Japan is now pushing into Rome anymore and I do see Great Library is going to finish next turn in Puteoli while uh, we do have Imhotep here okay he didn't actually finish Imhotep and he has Isodor in Imhotep somewhere around in the south I would imagine he's going to want to do a wonder here somewhere but I don't know where and what wonder is it is it going to be Forbidden City is he going to want to get Forbidden City where is he on printing metal casting nationalism does he have Forbidden City no well uh wait what who wait well, what does that mean uh, wait uh, does that mean that they never get any scientists in the whole game uh yes yes basically basically if nobody opens that map nobody's gonna get them yeah so they need japan to buy it or pick it one of the two I think he can even pass it, right? If the last one passes, it still opens up, but uh, you can't actually... Like, nobody's going to get Hildegard anymore. Uh, okay, we do have another plus uh, five with theater square here, and I do see our... <coughs> he's still... Okay, there we go. He's going to get uh, Oracle in Arpinum. Instantly built, no problem. Also, Forbidden City in Aretium. And I'm pretty sure Isodor is going to be more than capable of getting that very, very quickly. With uh, more science coming in, Malm is 214 science with 82 uh, culture. He definitely has uh, a lot of culture compared to anyone else on D-Shark. And we're going to need to see if that uh, scientific advantage is going to give him the military advantage, or I should say the win against his uh, opponents here. Malm's muscles are starting to rip through his T-Shirt. Uh, let's actually take a look at uh, Scythia here. Still no more movement. Looks like he's going to use some, that um, encampment of Persia for um, for target practice. And he has quite a few units over there and taking out uh, that wall strength and, of course, uh, chipping away uh, the experience. Uh, Shertom Lake did get spied on. I'm pretty sure we did have Scythia also putting a spy soon here. There we go in Mashad. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they are tying the extra diplomatic visibility they would have had. Yep. Yeah both of them are tying this it's fine uh mick player thank you so much sir welcome welcome i know i was given a great person once that i didn't pick uh, that uh, happens um if uh, someone passes very late in the turn like with the last 15 seconds 20 seconds of a turn you will uh yeah if you don't um pick or pass it yourself you're gonna get to well pass it but I, anyway you know what i mean you're gonna get it forced on you it's actually a rule in uh, cpl and in the cwc and in the FFR squadrons a little bit different but it says basically the same thing if you auto recruited the person you're gonna need to do a re-lobby it is what it is on the previous turn, so you don't uh, you don't uh, force a great person on somebody. Because uh, players did figure this out and they, they could actually force a great person they did not want on, some, on an unsuspecting somebody uh, to um, take away their points. That's the problem. The takeaway of the points is not that you got a great person auto-recruited. It's uh, because you can't be competitive for the persons you, wants, you wanted to get. <clears throat> Yeah, that is that is bad. So what's the best way to level spies from the lowest level? Um, missions. Actually, the best way would be a terracotta with a Victor. Victor with terracotta. So Victor over here has a promotion in Brasher, which gives you a free promotion. If you build a spy in the city with Victor, he's going to come out uh, level 1 directly. And uh, you can get Terracotta Army next, uh, next to an encampment with a barracks inside of it. And you can get the second level immediately. And if you do manage to like chain that, like get the Terracotta army to synchronize with um, the finishing, that's basically. Uh, can Conquistadors break Zulu? Uh, good question. I mean, these units, let's see how strong these uh, Zulu units are. Uh, these units are 78 strength. A Conquistador would be around 85, 90. So I think so. I think they would break. Uh, a Conquistador core would be 89. So we do have Conquistadors coming in. He's getting holy sites. He didn't manage to get the holy site before, so he doesn't have the ability to buy missionaries. Uh, conquistadors do get the extra plus five uh, from a missionary next to them, and uh, they definitely need to be called up to be effective against um, 
against uh, Zulu here. And I don't think he has the culture for for nationalism. He's barely on na uh, humanism. So yeah, um, coding up is going to be a problem. Well, we're going to need to see what's uh, going to happen. Does he even have? Oh, he does. He does have a general, right? Yeah, he does have a general for uh, Renaissance units. He did manage to pick before the Congress. He picked uh, Timur. It uh, looks like everything is slowing down, and now with uh, the war slowing down, it seems like Dishak does manage to get a few more science points on the board. Apology gets over 100, Ulopsim gets over 100, Pipo is very close to 100, Floppy still stays on his 17 and, and uh, 21, and uh, of course minus 24 goal per turn. Uh, he's starting to get new cities and as you can see he's uh, gonna try to uh, get a little bit of an advantage here from having more cities but we're gonna need to see if it's gonna be enough. Uh, Packing shows defending the cities of um, Rome are gonna be more than capable of pushing back the Zulu night course. They can attack into them no problem and deal significant damage while it does only seem that uh, Zulu is pushing this for the sake of pushing this not actually for, to do anything. Uh, Isodor does have uh, two more charges to go and it doesn't look like he actually used any of them. Uh, with Oracle finishing in a city with uh, Governor Pingala, I would imagine the amount of um, great writers has changed or will change significantly. He's right now still on two. Wait, he never actually finished the... Oh, he never did actually finish the theater square from Arpino. He never put it down. Oh, kick W, bro. I'm actually curious where is he going to put it down, right? This is from Ostia. Arpino doesn't have... Um, so he has only scientists and in the scientist screen, which doesn't really matter. He's on 26 scientist points a turn. Uh, what other district does he have here? A commercial. Commercial, merchant. We got a Rome on 10 great merchant points a turn. Okay. Not that big, but not that bad. And Forbidden City giving him another uh, slot to use in the... Another military uh, wildcard policy slot to use. It's going to be very, very important. Uh, do I even save? Mm. Do you save? Or do you not save? That is the question for today. Hello there, Forerunner. Good evening, sir. Uh, got all my ideas stolen today. I am so sorry for you, man. I am so sorry. And I hope you get them back. Actually, today um, I uh, almost lost one, uh, like the card for my, um, um, for my phone. Uh, because uh, I had to switch companies like last week, got a new, uh, got a new pin with a new uh, SIM, and um, my grandma threw away the pin. Yeah, yeah, that's a sad day, but it is what it is. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, Zulu also starting to expand to the east side. He, 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 they are recognizing that they do need to be competitive in the next part of the game. But with uh, Malm getting uh, quite ahead, we do need to see if uh, Zulu is going to be on point to defend against him. With uh, also Tokugawa starting to get his um, other series out. We do uh, have quite a longer game on our hands. So it's not going to be the easy... Uh, the easy Highlands that we've uh, thought at the beginning with the attacks from uh, per uh, Scythia into Persia with the attacks of Korea over here. It looks like uh, the things are going to be looking uh, very, very swift and fast, but it looks like we're going to slow down here and we do need to see how they're going to manage to get their footing back in the game. Uh, Kila does seem like he definitely is low on series, but he's um, now getting as many units as possible. Now, while um, Captain Morgan is also going to have a problem with his uh, sim here, looks like uh, his next door neighbor people is not only withstanding him but also um, overwhelming him with his stats he's definitely seeming with a lot better territory here now well there could have been more cities being placed by um, the city i'm pretty sure they could there could have been more cities placed here uh, do the piking shows have zone of control yes I thought Persia and uh, Japan were dead. They're not. Yeah, Persia and Japan are not dead. And yeah, you're right. We thought uh, Japan might be dead. It's not dead. Uh, Flop is still uh, thriving here. Well, I wouldn't really call this thriving, but he's here. He's alive. He's, uh, he's you know, he's fine. Uh, 
Uh, six times Forbidden City, of course, uh, nobody's actually contesting Forbidden City, so I, it does look like he doesn't really care uh, how fast he's doing it, even though I do believe uh, having a faster card would be quite important. Uh, we do have uh, also immediate... Oh, how did he get this so fast? Oh, I see, he chopped He chopped the shrine and now he's getting the temple. I thought he got the temple alongside that shrine and I was like, how the... Did this happen? How did that go? Anyway, we got a four turning of a Colossus in Madrid. That's an amazing amount of production that he has in Madrid. Uh, okay, 55 production at 1072. Not bad. Okay, not bad. Uh, industrial zone in there. No uh, shipyard yet. Looking at the sh his um, man is going to get industrialization next. And while Sambro is on ballistics, uh, looks like he's going to want to keep on going with field cannons and uh, Cura uh, conquistadors over here against Zulu. Uh, Zulu is getting mass production. Uh oh. Wait, Zulu's trying to sim? I guess so, right? He's trying to sim. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what we saw, right? He was trying to sim. I'm amazed he didn't get those cities a lot faster. I mean, I, I understand why he's trying to push into Rome, or why did he put those units against Rome earlier. Uh, what I uh, do have to uh, say, I think it would have been more important for him to get another wave of like four settlers than get a wave of uh, four night courts at that moment in time. Now it is kind of, well, it is late, but better than never. Um, hello there, Victoro. Hello there, sir. Good evening, good evening. Crow 2022. <laughs> Good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, this uh, looks pretty over, nuclear and corn. And we don't know if it's over. Uh, like, we don't know. We've, um, I, well, like, we can't predict this. Not yet, at least. We still need to see the players uh, evolve their uh, empires here and, of course, uh, get everything done. I do see a religion from Rome also has established. It looks like uh, Zen he's going to go for Zen meditation. Oh my god, he got stewardship. This is going to be amazing. Stewardship for the extra science and gold is going to be amazing on Malm. Uh, Malm doesn't really have a working economy, but he does have 313 production points going, while uh, I do see Samro is on 249. We do have him also, yes, with um, industrialization activated, but not that many workshops or factories have been built in these, not yet. And I'm pretty sure his production is going to skyrocket very quickly here. We do have him uh, working on more of these gold points, I'm pretty sure with the markets coming around and with his ability to actually start trading coastally to the capital city of Korea. This is going to become more and more important to actually use the seas of Bohai to get that gold per turn. We do have uh, the units of Aztec uh, starting to get their heals back and uh, their health back and I do notice uh, Aztec uh, is on banking, enlightenment, getting his science, getting his uh, entertainment complex, uh, while we're very few turns away from uh, getting the next era. In uh, two turns, we're going to jump into the Renaissance era, and we do need to see who's going to manage to get his, their um, Golden Age, Dark Age, or Normal Age. Well, Floppy, by the looks of it, he's uh, five points out from getting a Heroic Age, uh, and uh, let's see, is he, is he actually going to get a Heroic Age here? Interesting. I don't, I don't think so, but I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, apology, Dark Age, people, Dark Age, Captain Morgan, Dark Age, Sambro, Dark Age, Hiraid is going to be 64-64. That's enough to get a Heroic Age, and Malm is going to keep being in a Golden Age. That's uh, going to be quite important to reform the coinage for him. I do see Zulu is deploying spies against him, while Rome is uh, already getting a spy in Goma, so they are uh, tying them, each other out over there in the listening uh, polls. The block scientists are really bad. Uh, yeah, it's not good, not good at all. Yeah, the um, scientists are definitely a problem here. Okay. Korean units are not really moving towards uh, Japan. Uh, he did manage to put uh, Shunsu towards the north to see what's going on there. Aztec is not really moving either. Uh, we do need to see uh, Captain Morgan. Okay, I, I do notice Captain Morgan is going to keep on going towards ballistics and will want to upgrade these into fear cannons and the cuirassiers uh, soon, but they do need to get the gold. And now with Sambro actually starting to make um, 146 gold per turn and... Uh, uh, he's gonna be in dark age. He's not gonna have the other gold anyway. And Captain Morgan starting to be uh, relevant. Malm is gonna need to get his economy going. Malm really needs like they need 300, 400 gold a turn to actually uh, so many units. As far as the eye can see.
Wait, is Japan ever gonna get this? I don't think so, right? Japan is just gonna keep um, the scientists hostage in the game. And I, I do want to mention this is uh, going to take quite a bit of strength from uh, D-Shark to come back into the game after they they barely had an economy that felt the tax against their opponents here against uh, Korea. Uh, that is and against um, and of course withstanding the attack of uh, Persia on the attack of Scythia on Persia. Uh, this is uh, going to be quite a problem for them to get back. And I do see they're making steps to keep on uh, being relevant in the game, trying to get uh, quite a few other cities, uh, making their science, getting their production capabilities up and so on. They are uh, slowly, slowly inching back. And I think it will be up on Malm uh, to do this next move. I think Malm's decision in the next period, in the next 10 turns, will make or break the game here. Uh, we might see an attack from Spain also, since he did uh, buy out his missionaries, it looks like, no, he's actually working on converting his own cities rather than doing anything else. Just the dedication and defender of the faith, giving him the opportunity to buy out some buildings with faith. Uh, he shouldn't have that much, he's on 40 faith at least. It's not much, but it's enough to keep on buying units. Uh, Conquistador, first Conquistador coming up from Cartagena, we're gonna get to see his damage soon, and looking at the tech side here, he still is very far away from uh, getting uh, his um, nationalism, so cord up many times so that we were thinking to go against his opponent are not an option here. Uh, tanks or bombers? That's the question. Yes, I think both. I think uh, the answer to that question is both. He needs tanks and bombers. Well, 250 science is a serious advantage. I'm curious how much he's going to lose next turn. Um, wait, that is his science. Wait, that is his science without free inquiry, guys. He's on 250 science without free inquiry. Kick W. He's more than double, uh, he's, yeah, double uh, apology, more than double eulopsy, more than double people. Uh, we're going to have a pause here in like uh, 30 seconds for another two minutes to see what's going to happen in the Congress. <laughs> Flying tanks that drop uh, helicopters. Hey, you should have said that drop helicopters. Flying tanks that drop helicopters. That definitely makes sense. We do have the Aztec units actually starting to reposition towards the west side. Not sure where they're going, they, but they might be uh, feeding a Scythian uh, uh, tank over here. Okay. Okay. No, oh, be right back. Two minutes. We'll come back. Man, working on the specialist, yeah? He is.
It's like uh, the Terminator is in the other room. We're going to need to see if uh, she's going to start crying. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we got some cuirassiers uh, coming up, also Persian field cannons, that's going to withstand uh, probably the CTN attack uh, next up. Uh, we did have uh, industrial city-states not providing the unique uh, suicidal bonus, and we can see immediately the production of um, Spain significantly went down. Uh, we do have Spain on uh, 230 production right now. Uh, looks like also we do have um, in the second option, Coco not granting amenities, that's actually going to hit uh, Korea. You did have uh, the Coco tiles over here from the beginning improved, and uh, we do have Nader Shah people losing the Diplo points he got in the first uh, one so I guess he's not going to have an advantage here now we do have quite a few units actually from Korea rebuilding his army and trying to get new settlers out uh, looking at uh, the economy right now we do have Malm starting to get higher and uh, looks like uh, Kilaid is also starting to be uh, positive here with um, major major expansions and development of uh, man's uh, industrial zones we do have uh, the factory starting to give him uh, the much needed extra edge in the production uh, not to mention he did get forbidden city which gives him this uh, ability to work another wild card policy slot at this point it is very important for him to keep his amenities high even if he does have colosseum and with Republican legacy and liberalism, he can actually get two amenities in each city with a special district or I'd just say one with at least the one and another one with at least two. Uh, while um, he is going to manage to get the extra science with rationalism and um, the double campus card, we do have him right now on 255 science and 100 culture. He did not roll that many of these uh, writers, but I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time until he's going to get a theater square from Arpinum and going to start rolling so many more points for the theater squares he did put an encampment down actually for no marpino that is very sup i guess he does want to get that so he can um so he can get a general much much faster a lot more points will be generated now in the NR scores uh, we did have uh, p -p 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 nobody actually from the d shacks uh, managing to get into a golden age while uh, last day company will have Kilaid in a heroic with Rams of War, Monumentality and Hicksun Draconis. While uh, he's going to get that extra plus three population for newly settled cities, that is going to be amazing. Uh, Man does have reformed the coinage, so now, of course, one of the reasons he is actually in a positive economy. But uh, he doesn't have as many trade routes as he would need over here to uh, get as uh, much gold as he would want. Not to mention, he's still working on quite a few internals towards that uh, Magnus city of his. Uh, look, Avi, uh, thank you so much, sir. Welcome, welcome. Uh, also, it doesn't really matter much. Uh, now airports give aluminium. Yeah, now hangars and airports give aluminium. It's plus one, plus one, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Uh, I would say it's, it's going to be... It's going to mean we're going to have more uh, fighters earlier. Looking also good evening, sir. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, how is his aluminium count, then Yodingo? On, on uh, whom? On whom? On uh, Rome? Let's see. Aluminium count. Uh, I don't see aluminium. Maybe it's just me, but I don't see aluminium. Maybe he put a city on it or something. A uh, city, a um, tile, a uh, campus, a uh, district Primer. on it. Thelun 75. Missed most of the game. I guess it was what it was. <laughs> Hello, Derdalun. Thank you so much for the prime, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, we did have you missed quite a bit, actually. You missed a very, very atrocious attack between Korea and uh, Japan. Uh, Korea at some point took a city from uh, Aztec. Tlacopan's former city uh, center was taken down. Uh, then uh, Aztec took a city from Korea. Cydia has been fighting over here with Persia in the mud for a long time, but couldn't manage to take down Tarsus. You see, both of them did need to build major armies. And uh, looking at uh, Zulu, he did try to poke a little bit on Spain, but couldn't manage to uh, uh, get a foothold in uh, his opponent's territory. He also did try to push uh, Rome, which immediately Rome countered because he definitely has uh, the stronger science, and I'm pretty sure he has uh, the lead in production as well. <clears throat> Yields are looking 
very heavily towards uh, La Stake Company here. There is uh, there are two players over 150 science with uh, no player from the Shark over 150 over that number. While uh, they are starting to get their production capabilities, their science acquirement will lag behind their opponents. Uh, we do have um, Apology over here that did manage to settle more series, and this is going to be important, giving him more of these uh, campus spots and allowing him to be uh, more, um, how to say, more competitive when it comes to those stats. We're going to need to see if he's going to manage the late game to get uh, everything he needs did he settle two continents oh he has three continents worth check this out he has three continents worth of amenities he that's why he kept vilnius for the extra amenities didn't he yeah okay what is he Corsairs are plus nine luxury attack bonus right now apology trying to build up his uh, science here getting ballistics next turn nationalism eaten eight to be honest, if he does manage to get the Cuirassier cores with a plus 9, they should be stronger than any unit Korea can uh, use over here against him. And I do see he has the intel on opponent's movements also in the Korean territory. Korea just didn't have enough strength in his empire to get his, um, his uh, spies out. Only 4 cities is not that much. Rome... Whole power plants jumped up 427 uh, production industrial zone logistics projects it has a video next and it looks like he's gonna want to roll the next one also while uh, still we don't have anybody picking up uh, the great scientists we do need to check if japan is ever gonna get the campus down guys japan is purposely not getting a campus down they are totally locking the scientists and to be honest, that's a good move. That is a good move. That, that is the only way to deny Rome the scientist. Okay, Curassier versus Curassiers. Looks like uh, Cynthia definitely doesn't have the strength. And I do see his uh, field cannons are also going to have a problem if Persia gets too close. It looks like uh, Persia might actually start eating into uh, the city and defenses. Uh, we do have um, a wave of Persian units also moving from the east, but it looks like that city of Lahore is, uh, or I should say the city and Kurasir is way too strong for it to be pushed by uh, the Persian units. Uh, we don't have generals here for Persia, and that will be a problem that will be solved here. The next general is 300 points, and we did have, let's, uh, let's see over here, did they pick them immediately no no what is it uh no 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 wait nobody still nobody picked the journal oh uh, admiral general okay yeah still nobody picked the journal so oh my god they're starting to get the points right now zulu immediately got uh, the general here and uh, it looks like he's gonna get the renaissance industrial one amina while uh, he's also if he does manage to get that one by the way i do have to say if he does get this one he's gonna spend a lot of points and the next one will be extremely um uh, will be much much cheaper will be 155 120 points look at that it's almost three times cheaper to get the next one so I, i'm actually a bit uh, surprised that Zulu did choose to pick it up uh, if uh, he doesn't have anything very important to do with it and I guess one important thing would be to actually keep his borders guys look 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 this uh this cuirassier this conquistador over here is 81 strength and that's without the missionary next to it without the core ability but he does have the plus seven from uh, battle cry he definitely could have pushed here. I am pretty sure with Curassiers, uh, with Conquistador Corps and um, the Missionary and Crusade, he definitely would have uh, taken down Zulu. Or at least uh, put so much pressure on Zulu. Anyway, Sambro did manage to jump up to 190 science. And it's good that he's, uh, he keeps on seeming. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we do have him uh, putting down his infrastructure for the later part, uh, the later stage of the game. And getting uh, Cuirassiers, I would assume he might actually want to do tanks, uh, ta tank attacks against Zulu or uh, secure his... Um, I would say he secured his borders against a possible attack from Zulu in tanks. Uh, Zulu is quite late on this. He did uh, want to go for industrialization and uh, just went a little bit to the top. Now he's coming back to the bottom. Siege tactics, civil engineering. I think Eliopsim uh, might have been all over the place here with his text. I don't think he actually... Uh, delayed the text to the south uh, on purpose but i think uh, during the game he didn't he needed to focus on different things and uh, that actually slowed him down more than uh, help him out uh, Persia will have fascism soon though you think well soon kick okay soon <laughs> uh, he has nationalism yes no, not uh, not fascism. the shark will have the comeback of the week 
Man, if they do manage to get this from where they are, this is uh, going to be extremely impressive, I got to say. Extremely impressive. This is a very hard position they ha they find themselves in right now. I guess it is uh, lucky that they are on uh, the Highlands map and they did manage to get the points on uh, Aztec here, trying to get those um, that edge to actually push into Korea. If they do manage to take down Korea, an opponent take down an opponent entirely, this is going to be a significant victory. We do have a setter coming up from Chanchon and Kilaed might feel the pressure from uh, his opponent. He might feel his uh, in danger and put this, there we go. He's putting this uh, as a safety setter towards the south of Rome, getting behind his uh, big brother over here to help him survive through the next part of the game we do have actually Perja getting to push into Cetia and we're going to need to see if Captain Morgan will manage to uh, actually withstand the attack it doesn't look like it uh, people uh, is did manage to get Gustavus Adolphus as a general and of course with the extra plus 5 now against the Cetia he's doing quite well uh, we do not have actually from Cetia a general of this correct era to give his field cannons better strength and the cuirassiers but he still is benefiting from the extra plus 5 against wounded units so these cuirassiers are not something you actually want to take lightly not to mention that extra heal that he's popping off uh, I'm pretty sure people with the field cannons will have an advantage here doing uh, the damage against Cetia but at the same time he needs to be careful to not um, expend too many quinaciers before the field cannons uh, do the job do their job this is gonna be a tricky proposition but he has a chance of taking down uh, captain morgan if he does manage to take it down captain morgan this is gonna be a major problem uh, major major i i cannot stress this enough major problem if they lose Cetia, that's gonna be no trade loss for um, spain which is relying so much on the gold he's the biggest gold generator here and those trade routes are all going towards um, captain morgan and we do have a man that will need a lot of gold for the tank attacks and uh, by the looks of it uh, Rome at the moment yes he does have the science lead and he's building up uh, all of the advantages that he can for example Alhambra here gonna finish in two turns another slot to use for the cards that's gonna be a military policy slot but still it's very important uh, it allows you for example uh, in his um, monarchy right now so he could use um, let me actually put it up on the screen here. So the double Jason C card, and he could use another amenity for or a logistic. So either logistic for the one movement um, for starting in the same territory or retainers for the one amenity series with in series with a garrison unit. A lot of the players are actually using this um, extra amenity over there to get over their plus three. Even you see, even in this situation, he doesn't have uh, plus six happiness in his series. He's still on plus three, and that is uh, slowing him down a little. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, on 74 country, it would take long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will definitely get it sooner than Tommy. I do have to agree on that one. But I don't, I'm not that sure it will, um, it will matter. I mean, he might kill Cetia well before he gets, um, yeah, well before he gets actually um, fascism. He just got nationalism and these units, these Kunasir cores are definitely going to be strong. We do have uh, people over here managing to core up these on the east side. Now Cetia is uh, going to have a major problem. You do see his, um, the field cannons of Persia are managing to punch through the Cetia defenses with ease. And uh, we do have them soon coring up as well. A bit of a problem with the movement, but I'm pretty sure with um, the third movement, the field cannons can move and shoot. And this is uh, quite important. They can one shot the crossbows and uh, still do damage against these uh, backline units I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to um, expose them too much but these uh, uh, these field cannons can actually withstand attacks from two cuirassiers and live to tell the tale and we do have uh, in the back line here people keeps on uh, getting his sim bonuses and look at that look at the field cannon core 85 strength against the cuirassier 79 uh, we do have here Spain getting his attack going. Looks like uh, Zulu is going to want to punch a little bit uh, above his weight. He's going to try to go next to Spanish cuirassiers with, with just night course. The cuirassiers are definitely stronger in this case. Uh, and uh, we do need to see if he's actually going to get these. Uh, look, look at that. Conquistador. Just a single conquistador. Much stronger than the field cannon core. 
much stronger than the field cannon core he if he would have had enough of them oh my god oh my god but i guess you know enough of them at the correct moment in time would have meant a lot of sacrifices i gotta say he would have needed to stop everything that he would have uh, done here to get all of those uh, for at least three times you would have needed to um, get men at arms from everywhere that uh, wouldn't have been easy and uh, he definitely wouldn't have had uh, 200 science right now uh man industrial zone logistics next turn alhambra what is he getting here uh do, 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 do. he did get oh my god okay this is definitely gonna boost him to fascism leonardo da vinci soon for rome he's getting uh, his medic out he's um i don't know why he's getting a caravel but i guess it's his choice uh we do have uh, him also with the coal power plant getting more amphitheaters getting uh, a lot of more culture a lot more culture that's what it translates into trying to build the oxford university and of course getting the infrastructure with the uh, encampments um, and the, um, the bad access and um by the way i do have to say i still am not sure if it is worth it to go for um, uh, stables all of the time for tanks is it worth it or not at the moment i'm honestly not sure and this is something that i to be honest i would really love to see the difference in a single game like in a test case scenario uh, to see the different pathways because getting that extra um, experience on the tanks might mean the difference between you getting the second promotion or not they start with more experience right uh, stay in the stables you get 25 uh, plus 25 combat experience for all cavs each class units trained in the city this is basically meaning uh, that you're gonna have much more many more uh, promotions and is it worth spending the extra turn on those that's the i guess the question uh it went plus uh, four science i missed the last 50 turns what happened to japan hello there uh, yorkshire a bit yeah he he got another plus four science basically oh no he got the plus six science he was uh, no 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 wait a second he got nine uh, eight science boys he got eight science he was on 17 yeah 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 yeah. okay he got eight science i mean tokugawa tried to push into korea korea pushed him back then uh, korea pushed into aztec aztec pushed him back but not before he lost the city aztec uh, got a city also from korea and then it was a stalemate Scythia tried to push into uh, persia failed now he's uh, getting pushed by persia we're going to need to see if uh, persia is going to succeed or fail here and uh, since uh, we still don't have a general here for Scythia, we might have a problem the next generals are uh, quite uh, quite uh, expensive and by the looks of it Cynthia is not making that many points let's actually double check this he's on three great general points up turn and he needs a hundred what 180 80 something 86 lol it gives bonus production to uh, production to military units with a red cs yes That is also true. If you're talking about uh, the barracks and or uh, stable, I'm pretty sure it, both are uh, available. Where is it here, right? Oh, yeah, it's barracks or stable. It's barracks or stable. So you get that also. Uh, we do have uh, Korean Cav attack and it looks like he's going to go against Aztec. Aztec uh, doesn't look like he's going to get steel walls anytime soon. Apology is trying to uh, go towards industrialization while he has a Cuirassier uh, Corsair cores here that could turn into their own calves, which they are. Well, Kilaid over here is going to try to do the attack on uh, the northern city. He's taking out the uh, Aztec uh, city in the north. He's going to take out his uh, salt mines and his uh, tea farms here or the tea plantations. I'm pretty sure that's uh, two points of damage that uh, Aztec is not going to benefit from and it looks like he's also oh my god Aztec has plus 10 luxury attack bonus uh, it looks like also these uh, units are just gonna leave alone the cities of Korea to for their faith to their faith while uh, Korea will need a significant amount of Hawachas to withstand the calf court he will need also strong units to um, keep the keep the peace well we do have um, also these Persian units getting getting kind of well they're not getting stomped but they are not um 
They're not as many as we saw earlier, are they? Some of them core up, but I think at least a core died. At least a Cuirassier core died on the east. Uh, probably these field cannons made quick work of it. And I'm pretty sure quite a few uh, units from Cetia also died. Uh, quite a few of them are also moving in uh, between his cities. And new ones are uh, getting out slowly but surely. The Cuirassiers are getting built. Walls are uh, getting up in Lahore in two turns, and uh, we do need Persia with a lot more units to actually be effective. Or again, he needs to have patience for the field cannons to uh, make the magic. They need to make the magic. They need to actually punch through, not the cuirassiers. The cuirassiers are uh, just going to need to be the defenders for the field cannons, basically, the bodyguards. Yeah, we do have more Kuriasiers also coming on from uh, Persia cities. He definitely recognizes that he needs uh, more units to um, attack into city centers. While Japan did manage to put down two, four, six, seven cities, we do have him uh, still with an impressive army of samurais that never got um, to amount into anything other than taking down uh, a city center here, Mohenio Daro, a city state there. Uh, we do have also Rome, uh, three turns away from steel, 309 science, 160 culture, 489 points of production with uh, more of these banks coming out he's uh, definitely going to need a stronger economy but i'm i gotta say 130 gold a turn right now it's pretty good and also sambro on 200 gold a turn we were calling this out earlier he definitely needed as much as possible and he did get it uh, he does have quiras here courts here that are one shot in quite a few of these zulu units zulu didn't get his own quiras here course i'm not um i'm not seeing many numbers though and he's, you know, he's, he's hard building them, but that's a long time to hard build them. I guess it's calves to remove Lux bonuses. Yes, I think it's uh, it's calves to do the damage against Tiempola. He's seeing what's going on here. He has a spy in that city center, and I'm pretty sure his calves should be uh, strong enough to take out the city center. Uh, but I guess they got spotted, and Aztec right here will have the opportunity to take down the Korean calves before they get to Tiempola. <clears throat> Oh no, Kilaya takes the bait and it looks like he's gonna get caught in between all of the Aztec plus 10 units. He did manage to take down one and he's sending a pillage squad here uh, to Atsaka Pozalco. Uh, two of them did manage to get across there or at least one on the river. And I do notice uh, line uh, infantry are starting to show up. These are not strong enough to withstand the cav, uh, core attack from Aztec. And he did manage to also recruit Jan Dark to help him out with uh, the bonus damage. Aztec, uh, Korea is uh, trying to get out of there, but again, they, they can't really afford to lose him for the economy, though. This is a major problem for their economy if they lose, if they lose uh, Korea cities. Anyway, uh, okay, looks like uh, CTI is going to try to push back. He has the major problems actually pushing back. These field cannons are uh, not as uh, squishy as you might think, and even the cuirassiers uh, will have major problems attacking into them. Uh, next turn, we will see them also. Oh my god, this one might actually get the level 2. No, well, not next turn, in like two two shots. Okay, well, he got greedy with that one and got into the range of the field cannons. And this is uh, what I was saying earlier. You need to let the field cannons work. Of course, uh, Captain Morgan over there was trying to um, create a trap, a zone of these field cannons um, that they can actually overlap their shots and uh, take down uh, his opponents. Uh, City did manage to counter with the extra movement from the cuirassiers and did major damage against these uh, units. Now, uh, there still are field cannons that uh, can do attack maneuvers here and uh, some of them do have promotions. This one is uh, level 2 soon uh, but still these uh, feel uh, these uh, cuirassiers are quite maneuverable and i'm pretty sure that captain morgan is going to try to pay attention with the moves here now uh, we uh, kind of ran out of units for persia to take over cities uh, they in, when the dust settled it looks like Scythia does have uh, the most cuirassiers still alive this fill cannon okay there we go another unit down And another unit down. This uh, cuirassier shouldn't be that far off from getting his promotion. He's going to get attacked. Can he withstand two attacks? No. Uh, he could. He... Oh, he's not attacked. Wait, he cannot be attacked two times. Never mind. It's fine. 
If he cannot be attacked two times, it's fine. Uh, this Curacier, Phil Cannon Core, might be taken uh, liking on this Curacier of Cynthia, to be honest. He should, uh, he should shoot it. Move and shoot. Move and shoot. Uh, looking at man getting his uh, also in camo from the counter more moving on the uh, stables right now we do have an iron clad upgraded in Achille and um, of course giving him the extra strength in his series uh, I do also notice he's also getting a morning camo training projects uh, so he can get one of these industrial modern generals Dandana is the next one and he definitely wants to have one of these he did manage to recruit Leonardo da Vinci and uh, we'll get the extra culture with that jumped up to 165 culture steel walls coming up next turn natural history also in two uh in one in next turn i mean and uh, i do see five turns for oxford university to finish if filippo is not gonna finish it next and this is i gotta say this is impressive how much uh, bonuses how many bonuses he is able to get uh, using the extra cards and of course um, the wonders uh, using the engineers to get the faster everything uh, looking at, uh, let me see, his government, uh, he is using veterans yeah, actually to build faster the encampments, the 30% um, production towards harbor districts. Uh, this actually works uh, very well also with uh, the, um, the shipyards. You do get the encampment buildings much, much faster. Uh, we do still he have him with all of the other cards here and also with the visa bunker, so he gets the extra two food and two uh, production from uh, trading with his ally here and his ally gets it as well. So many encampments coming out everywhere. Military academies will need to be built here. So he gets his um, oil per turn. But I'm pretty sure I saw a few oil tiles. There we go. One oil already improved. Uh, he is uh, still next turn. He shouldn't be that far off from combustion. But he doesn't have like tanks. Uh, so I wouldn't really hold my breath for him to... Um, get them pre-built. I don't think they have gold to pre-build that many tanks either. So maybe hard building is the way or he's just going to bypass everything and try to go for jet bombers. <clears throat> this is also the pathway towards uh, jet bombers, nukes, jet bombers and so on. Um, Dra, hello there, sir. Korea, North, West, East. Why? What? This one? Oh, he, he lost everything. He, he lost everything very quickly. Like the second these Aztec units got the ability to move, they killed everything from Korea. These are, th this is not a survival attack, uh, survival attack, survivable attack for uh, any Korean calf. That's a 90 strength calf core of Aztec with uh, 10 luxury attack bonus. It's way too strong. They're not even caring about even the Hawachas here. But anyway, they still needs a little bit of time to get in there. And uh, I do see Aztec attack did get um, stopped by some of the Korean calves. Uh, he's uh, going to manage to take one down and another one will fall probably next turn. And that's about it. He's going to get a few pillages, but Korea is not going to manage to make uh, much more damage there. Uh, looking at Nader, it looks like Nader is uh, bunkering down, he's turning up because, uh, well, he couldn't push into the city of Lahore and uh, by the looks of it, he's going to need to rebuild his army, especially his Kurasir core count. He's uh, not having a serious damage advantage, uh, sorry, scientific advantage of uh, Captain Morgan, only 33 science more and in the total tab, it looks like only 650 was acquired more than him, so again, not, uh, not that big of an no, the advantage while uh, he does have the bigger production that's definitely an advantage the bigger economy also we're gonna see a lot more uh, gold per turn and i would imagine we're gonna see him start putting down a lot of encampments if he wants to uh, get more units out which i am imagining he should because cithia on his border is not gonna let go of this his like, captain morgan is definitely not gonna let go of this territory he's gonna keep on poking and prodding until uh, he's gonna find a weakness the same will persia do so we're gonna still see uh, units being traded here but you see how even in the game you you get uh, basically like a dmz created between these two armies when they get to a stalemate <laughs> Tandorio, hello there sir and welcome uh, da vinci plus mausoleum plus six workshops yes sir project cisco so good evening sir thank you thank you thank you apology casually going for refining before steel again after yesterday's 1v1 yes yes he really white he really likes refining before steel uh, but wait, this is people. This is people. Uh, oh, you're talking about apology? He, did he do it again? Yeah, I mean, he probably has it as a reflex rather than anything else. Okay, looks like the Korean uh, calf will manage to at least get a pillage. While uh, 
the Aztec units are getting into the borders of Korea. I think Korea at the moment is not aware of how much damage these Aztec units have. He's probably thinking it's a lot, but he's not aware of the exact amount. And again, this is going to put pressure on Rome also. After uh, Korea is down, Rome is going to follow up. So, uh, yeah, he needs to get his tanks up. We do have him uh, building up his military enemies, uh, finally getting some cuirassiers out. And uh, only to training them. He cannot one turn them at the moment. I uh, guess I'm uh, starting to get worried. Uh, we got the coal power plants uh, getting up. Uh, the production is definitely here with Malm. 548 production points on uh, 300 size uh, Trajan with 166 culture. He's uh, not dead to fascism, but not far away either. He has significantly more culture than everybody else in the game. Uh, whoa. Yeah, really everybody else in the game. Uh, we do have uh, also... Do, did we have a campus here from Japan? Man, Japan is still purposely not building a campus. This is unbelievable. I, I like this, but this is unbelievable. They they locked the scientists throughout the whole game to deny Malm the ability to just run away with Newton. Kick W. Uh, Zeus coming up in Arpinum. Okay, that's uh, more amenities here around in the surrounding cities he did manage to get uh, his capital to plus six ostia and arpinum so again uh, the cards are actually giving him so much of an advantage over here uh, still liberalism and the republican legacy curious that he went for third confederation here and of course he does need chivalry to get that other thing going uh, get those uh, quinaciers out and about oh he switched away from rationalism i see and got chivalry okay Okay, Aztec keeps on building some calves, gets his universities in his cities and a stronger economy. They did manage to fix the situation with their economy. And I do have uh, to say, they have uh, decent production. Uh, looking at uh, Eliopsim, we do have uh, him building up some industrial zones, getting his military academies up in his uh, Ikandas. And uh, I don't really see him benefiting from a very, very strong army. And of course, we do have Terracotta actually beginning building Cartagena with uh, more encampments coming in. Finally, factories uh, getting into the city of Spain this will help him out um, outproduce his opponent not to mention uh, out take right now with his uh, 227 science 353 production we're probably gonna be seeing well we should have been seeing actually tanks much faster on Sambro and especially on Mal but uh, seeing uh, how mm, little units they have like how few units they have I wouldn't really call, be calling this um, a critical attack against Zulu and, like, if uh, tanks would come out from Rome he would actually have the ability to take out quite a few Zulu cities um, if you if he only had the tanks ready right now Eliopsim is five turns away from uh, steel if the tanks would have upgraded mm, the next two turns here and ah, still wouldn't have had time still wouldn't have had time never mind never mind they would have been two turns too late Okay, looks like uh, Aztec getting uh, to force his way towards the Korean capital. And he doesn't look like these uh, Korean units uh, can do anything. And we do have a GG being called so by the Sharks. They had enough. The they didn't see the end. The light at the end of the tunnel. And it looks like we are getting a third game soon. Because they just tied them in the series. Last take open, he just tied them in the series. Unbelievable. We had over there a trial. To go. Went out swinging against his opponent. On Korea. Korea pushed him back. Sure then we did have Scythia came out swinging against Persia. Persia said, No, hello, go back to your territory, sir. And then we did have a man just getting so many muscles over there. You couldn't get past him in the door. Have you seen? Do you know? Do you know that moment when you actually have somebody that big that is just standing in the door and you can't get in? That was basically man. Big one, big one. Congratulations to um Plus, take company for getting this. Let's actually uh, connect with them. Let's see what's going uh, on. Uh, I'm waiting to actually see what's going on. Give it a second. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. They need to be in the same channel. Uh, it didn't look inevitable. Oh. 
Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I got hit by a wall of text and I was like, whoa, whoa, I'm actually gonna need to read that. Yes. Ouais, mais mon ordi, tu vois. Sachez, vous deux, qu'il a failli se passer des dingueries. Hein. Si, si vous, vous aviez une pièce à lancer sur la direction de vos units, et il y avait un monde où les deux vous échangez vos colons. <rire> Le, ouais. le scout, le scout que, que t'avais floppy à côté du lac, là, il y avait un colon de Kilayad qui arrivait et le guerrier de Kilayad qui est passé au-dessus de là où il pose Shizuoka. Bah, si t'avais fait demi-tour un peu plus tôt, t'aurais eu Shizuoka. Et si t'avais continué tout droit, t'aurais eu la B3 de floppy. C'était. <rire> ah, ouais, moi je voyais son guerrier par contre euh, qui aide sur, la B3, sur ma B3. Oui, non, mais avant ça, en fait, tu l'as pas vu passer au début. Il, genre, il est passé euh, sans que tu le vois. Et du coup, si son guerrier était descendu avant la montagne, il prenait ton colon. Celui de la B2 si... Ouais. Oh, soit il le prenait, soit il le okay. pareil pour la B3. Et en fait, sur la B3, parce qu'il a décidé de contourner la montagne, et en fait, quand vous êtes croisé, il a fait demi-tour avec son guerrier, alors que s'il avait continué tout droit, il aurait pris ta B3. Ouais, bah j'avais 15 unités chez moi, donc bon. Pas trop le choix. <rire> <rire> non mais moi, la B3, j'avais l'information. Hein. Okay. Ouais, bah à ce moment-là, ouais, parce que quand t'as settle B2, t'as vu le guerrier. Mais parce qu'il a fait demi-tour, s'il avait pas fait demi-tour, euh, tu l'avais pas. Et par contre, t'as posé ton cerveau, non, dans la guerre Bah après, tu sais, t'as vu comment j'étais front de lui, mmh. j'avais déjà tac les lieux sans, genre c'était fait. Non, parce que t'as fait genre 50 tours de samouraï. Ouais, bah ouais, ouais. Bon, t'as pas voulu euh, tenter le petit âge d'or, là, avec port plus 4 et galère pour poser des villes à 4 de pop Bon, la game était déjà plus ou moins finie, mais... Non. Sur l'âge héroïque. Ce qui te manquait 3 points. Ah, le dernier, well played non. Ouais. With pleasure. I think this was the most uh, war I have uh, seen in a long time on Highlands. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but everybody was warning, man. <laughs> uh, I was playing Korea and I, see, and I saw the B2 of uh, Japan like four, four tiles from my... <laughs> yeah, what, what was that, man? <laughs> Floppy, what, what did you do there? Yeah, I didn't have the, the information. Oh, you didn't know about that city before? No, I knew when I was like halfway there. Then I was ah, like, oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah, no more... Uh, no more no choices. More back. <laughs> yeah, no more turning back here. Yeah. Right. Uh, it, was, it was you, Apo, on a stack? Yes, it was Apo. We, we don't really understand why you put a camp, uh, campment without discount when you could have discount a too good campus. It was a discount to my uh, campment. Really? Because you have a, yes. you had plaza, uh, campus, okay, yeah, it was yeah, maybe discount. Free, uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. I had three, three commercial ads. We saw the, you was going to go for camp. Yeah, the play was campus. to take general uh, and oh, push uh, on yeah. the front. Yeah, I think it was a bit late for the name. It really slowed you down in the end because the general went uh, very fast. Yeah, on island, kinda. <laughs> yeah, kinda, kinda surprising, yeah. Also, what made you not frame up? We had uh, not many informations and uh, we thought uh, Toguero was freezing with the Aztec. Mm. Uh, I think we got super baited by the CS. I yeah. mean, it was honestly, it was insane. Uh, it, it took a lot to kill it, but if you kill it easy, it's like the game is insane for for Aztec, especially if it doesn't lose the city. Yeah, yeah, he loses B3. He just uh, yeah, you game. you shift enter and the horse uh, go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, the, the turn I scoot my my horse. There is a free horse that can uh, hit it. Yeah, but time. Okay. But did you do middle turn? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I was scary. <laughs> what happened in did the you, scientist guys... screen, by the way? Who was the Every... brainiac Every... that was... <laughs> uh, we, we messed up uh, very hard. <laughs> Everyone uh, didn't accept Everyone and uh, Floppy had uh, zero campus, so... <laughs> and he never built one. He was on purpose not building one. <laughs> yeah, well, he had a great uh, library, so we were never gonna... Mm. We, yeah, we saw done. Malm doing project and then we checked for scientist. Who is it? <laughs> it's luck. Why projecting? Because <laughs> yeah. we saw. Yes, I was I was projecting and uh, I asked my team uh, who gonna unblock them and everyone <laughs> told me uh, they passed uh, it. Yeah, 
I would like uh, I, I pass first. my project Y. <rire> J'avais trop bien set up mes projets en plus. <rire> It's such a low science game as well. Yes. Yeah. No glossy this state as well. Yes. Yeah, 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 but everyone was fighting except Rom, so. Plus, you, you took Korea and took Hook to be big science pick, but they are four times next to each other and just go fully hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was afraid that he rushed a uh, uh, samurai, so I put uh, Victor he, he 3 did. on uh, maybe 2. Man, that land. Th you those two the hills with the, forest. The city. Yeah, that, that was just impossible for him to pass through, man. Yeah, but I put a Victor 3 uh, and uh, the card was at uh, put plus, plus 6 on uh, your city center. Uh. Bastion. Yeah, but in English I don't know the name. <laughs> Et uh, du coup, ben, bah, c'était c'était trop. Bah, pour lui c'était trop dur. Et puis en fait, le, les putains de coursiers plus 13 sur moi, gros. Pff, ça, plus je 10, sais pas. Plus 10. Mais j'ai que plus 10. Il y avait la chambre aussi. Ah, ah oui, oui, quand c'était pas. Tu parlais ouais, des ouais, luxes. Non, non, il y avait de la chambre. Et donc, du coup, bah bon. Ça fait, ça fait mal. Le truc, c'est que ah, j'avais cette... pas eu le général à un tour, sinon. Euh... Et ouais. <rire> T'as eu le projet. Ouais. ouais. ouais C'était dur, hein, c'est que j'avais ma défense perfectement défendue pour euh, Floppy. Et là, je vois du 8 cours serrés. Je fais. Et oh, par genre. contre, hein, comment Floppy t'arrive au teint C'était. À Shizuka, mais parce que Shizuka il avait. Euh, J'avais. Tu vois sur le salpêtre ouais, il nous avait. pas grand chose frérot. Euh, il avait 3 archers, un lancier, et tu t'es mis sur le marais, t'as pris 3 ouais. coups d'archers. Le KO pas... sur le marais ça t'a flingué le truc. T'es parti ouais, la queue euh... entre les jambes, et derrière il t'a trade 2 archers et un poney pour un lancier. Ouais. Et euh, bah, c'est parce qu'il avait first move. Pas... Il a la smooth euh, et je pouvais plus euh, bouger. Parce qu'il savait pas qu'il allait faire smooth. <rire> si, si, je le savais. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Bon, je bah, bien joué vrai. aussi, Malmain. Belle game. Merci. Ouais, C'était un peu plus simple. Bonne soirée. Euh, juste à pas me faire... Bonne soirée, Michael. Bonne soirée, Michael. Bye, Michael. Bye. Bonne soirée. Thank you. Thank you also for the cast. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, bye. J'avais juste à... So, there we go. We had a win today from the State Company going against um, their opponents, Dijak, in the semi-finals of the CFR Squadrons, and uh, this uh, was the second game of the series. We're going to have another game soon. I'm not sure exactly when it was uh, going to be scheduled, but uh, we're going to need to keep on watching over here the, um, the channel so we do notice when it is going to be scheduled. Uh, now, uh, we also are waiting for the final game from the wildcard um, to see who's going to get in there, see if Australia or Le Sumer. <laughs> It is what it is. We also need to um, yeah, see what's going on in another tunnel, but we're going to talk about it tomorrow on the score show on uh, the YouTube video. Now, I did also um, uh, promise yesterday that I want to do a video for the CCC, so uh, maybe we integrate it uh, entirely into. Um, into episode 7 from the score show uh, so we get to talk about everything over there into a single in a single um, video uh, thank you so much for everything and uh, i do hope we're gonna see each other uh, next time hazagi was casting with the story yes so uh, hazagi was not in the game he was uh, casting with the story for the french viewers uh, thank you so much for everything much appreciated sirs for of course the congratulations earlier thank you thank you thank you so much you're making this channel amazing and i do hope um, you are enjoying the content as uh, uh, much as much as possible i also do want to thank you for the subs for the uh, gifts for the uh, for the follows for every kind of support you are actually showing to this channel thank you so much sirs. Uh, on my discord you can find out uh, the schedule right now there aren't any games um, in the future schedule but i'm pretty sure we're gonna have that uh, changed uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i'm gonna work on the youtube video so you can actually check it out over there on youtube next uh, in tomorrow uh, what's uh, what is happening uh, with the scores in the different tournaments and what kind of other tournaments we do have uh, started up in the next period of course we're coming very close to the cwc so we do have a lot a lot of amazing stuff ahead of us thank you so much for everything don't forget to follow the channel and of course subscribe if you can and let's see each other in the next one bye bye